Interesting fact of the mixture of things. Oh my! What, you see the back of the reds? Oh, the bomb! Oh, oh my god! That's a tough oh. one! Well, 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 Zax, we are here, finally, for the World Cup Finals. Uh, it is U.S. South versus England somehow. And I am so, so, so excited to watch it all unfold before us. Uh, Zax, how are you doing today of all days? I don't even know how to contain my excitement. What a run and what an absolute journey it's been from the start of World Cup to now the world stage on grand finals for usa south and england both these teams have really just ran through the trials and tribulations of both their sides and they've now come together for one last barn burner of a match here we are in the grand finals i don't even know what do you even say it's, yeah it, it's, it's it, incredible it's it's and it's a match that we wouldn't have expected to see in the final. i mean I think we would have expected England. England has been the team to show up so consistently over the years and has never been able to pull through in the finals. And US South surely couldn't have come in with it, with this kind of expectation. I mean, we last year, not even making uh, the dent that they could have considered. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't even think they made the bracket. Um, and losing to Australia in the group stage at that time, which, uh, Kudos to Australia, an incredible uh, side, but surely not what they would have expected. And now after coming from this kind of gauntlet of a bracket where they've had to take on the U.S. North, especially in the semifinals, and finally being able to best them, especially, especially from that first match that they played where they were, it, it did not look like this was, it was going to be anything remotely close of a, like anything remotely close of a match, let alone them getting to the finals. But that they responded and kept going is is incredible. And for England on their side of the bracket, it's been a, it's been a cleaner run for them, and they feel a lot more confident going into it. So, uh, yeah, I, I I'm so ecstatic to see what becomes of this this match. We have our players getting into the room, and they're incredibly excited. But why don't we talk about the players we're going to be watching on our screens going into this? Exactly. Why don't we? We're starting off with USA South's lineup. They've brought to the table. Macy, Revise, Casper, Batgate, and and running it back is going to be Sam the Baller Rose. Yeah, yeah, it, it, and it is. I, I I love this lineup, and they do have a change here from between the last match. I don't know if you noticed it, but Casper is coming in to play this one, uh, and I, I'm not familiar with who they might have subbed out in favor of Casper, but. I, I'm curious to see how, how Casper slides in, slots into the lineup because I've heard a lot of talk about Casper in particular. But but across across this lineup, I mean Macy as the captain, she's feeling incredibly confident and great about this team. I know that they've been practicing a lot, and as as the wars have gone on, I think their confidence has really grown. Yeah, I agree. And you know, you're, you're talking to to Macy a little bit just before the match, and she was saying that they were feeling pretty confident um in scrims both these teams really duking it out going 50 50 on the board there but definitely feeling like anything can happen for both these teams and they're a little bit they're slightly a little bit worried but also remaining super confident going into this you gotta respect that coming off the cap and from the team really leading the charge to uh to try to bring victory back to the united states right right and and i i know that in talking to xander beforehand they're looking out, at least he's looking out for Xander and, and having been surprised by his play and how he's, ha he's had some real impact and strong performances at some part uh, of the matches so uh, in, in the World Cup so far. So seems like they have an eye on him at least. And yeah, definitely really excited to look for. And, and I remember who's, who, who he's playing for this time. It's King Tavian who, or, or Shadow, who did play in the last match against US North did well, did his part, but may not have scored as much as he wanted to. Casper's coming in to fill that gap and see how they play from there. Uh, as you can see, uh, yeah, they have Thunder, Sully, Shadow, Mike, and Yax as their subs here. But yeah, let's talk about this England roster too, because this is, a. I mean, we've seen England or Team UK show up in the finals of many a 
many a World Cup, and they've never, ever pulled through. What about this roster makes it so they could finally finally reach that level, do you think? I, I think it's I think it's death. I think a lot of you know, you, you run through the, the most the higher tier highest tier players you can get your hands on. But sometimes a lot of those players they all try and, you know, do the same thing where they're all trying to front run and that's kind of all the style they've all adapted to. This Team England roster is so much different because now you have a lot of these, a lot of grinders you brought onto the team that are, that have known how to play, you know, the mid pack. They, they know how to run too. They know how to do it all. And I think that's the difference here with, you know, players like Zach, Fred, Chi that they all bring to the table is that they've kind of, they've started from the bottom and now they've made it right to the top of grand finals of the World Cup. And I think that's what's so different. And I think it's really going to turn the tides of what we've seen in the past years to today. And also bringing, reaching over and looking at fear instead of jazz is a right. little bit interesting idea too. But if you've looked at fear's World Cup performance so far, it's no surprise to see him here. He's had a great display in recent matches, and I'm excited to see what he does in the finals. Yeah, all, all all eyes on this bagger matchup happening on the in the back. We'll be keeping our eyes glued to that mini map and seeing who what's happening, who's spinning out, trying to keep track of it all because that is a big exclamation mark happening into this match. Is England feeling confident enough in having both baggers? I can't emphasize to you enough that Jazz has been their guy for like since literally 2015. Hell, I have the table. I'll, I'll link it in chat. It's it's it's. You see Xander and you see and you see Jazz. And those are the only two people that have been there consistently over time. And so it's incredible to see that they feel confident enough to be able to have fear come in, but it's true. He's done remarkably well. And if nothing else, for England, it's a huge chip on their shoulder to be like, if they lose match one, if they're feeling any lack of confidence in in the bagging department, they can they can or even if they are feeling confident still, they can still switch up on on US South with someone who's probably amongst top, the most formidable baggers in the game. That being said, Sam, an incredible bagger um, on, on US South part. So I it, I really couldn't tell you, I really couldn't predict how it's going to go. It's, it's gonna be really interesting because you have Team England who's riding the hot hand and fear. And then if you look on the other side though, you have just pure consistency coming out from Sam. So it's really gonna be, interesting to see which side this really leans towards and who's going to pull more shocks but also it's good to note uh, what you said earlier about you know having jazz in that back pocket if something doesn't if something's not working the way they want to they have that you know they have that card in the back to pull out if they uh they see they see fit right 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 and you know what's i what i really do love about this england roster is how much of like fresh blood is in this team in comparison to last year's uh, you know, and, and folks that have been on the grind for, for a while. So I, I really, I don't even, I genuinely do not have a favorite. Yeah, all of Europe may be pulling for England. All of NA might be pulling for US South, but there's so much to be said about both these rosters. US South having never certainly like been at this kind of stage, this level. Um, but I mean, like you were saying before, like Sam certainly great. And in, in the last match versus US North was running like I mean, they were getting all the shocks on match three and, and getting plenty of shocks in the matches prior, but especially match three around Mac running circles around who is amongst the most regarded baggers in the game uh, right now, historically, you name it. Um, so it, it is incredible to see. All that said, we are getting started. The, the room has started, so a, a match will get uh, started underway here very shortly. And yeah, as I've said, Zach, it's been, it's been such a pleasure to watch the tournament over over time from the swiss stage the ups and downs that teams that teams experienced and ran into but both these teams are finally at this stage in the bracket stage after the month plus long time of competition and they're at the biggest stage of the game that they can get grand finals uh and we'll see how they start things off here very shortly but we do see the ddr picks coming in for us south and sherbet land coming in for for england yeah, I mean, both great tracks to start off on, you know, both with, you know, high contested uh, stream spots with the Ultra and DDR. Sherbet Land, a very nice neutral track for both ends. Lots of shroom spots there. Lots of good ways to catch up with the off-road. And that's kind of what both these tracks have in common. But 
DDR is what it's going to be looked at for dry, dry ruins. Well, shoot, it's going to be uh, probably I, I've probably seen DDR first picked the most in this in this tournament more than I ever have in my life. And that this finals will be no exception to this as we get started and underway here. We'll be starting off with back cakes perspective as he starts off in first place and uh, very comfortably so being able to take the sand hop here. Xander at his back, so he'll have to keep his eyes peeled, uh, but unfortunately may have kept his eyes peeled too much behind him and wasn't able to get the drift that they wanted there. So it looks like England may be in top two, but Fred has to get rid of that TC, isn't able to in time. USA now trailing behind Xander, but I don't know. If you're any, if you if you played against Xander, you just, you know you surely don't want to be trailing against him. Oh yeah, and especially letting him in the first pretty early on, it's definitely not the stage you want to be in either as, you know, historically is able to just completely run and a very yeah. nice back spam as well, gonna clip up second place and looking at Fred now, eighth place holding on to this bill. And it's gonna be a very nice uh look out for fear if he's looking to try and get an early shock. Does clip up the sand, but is still gonna be content holding on to this bill. Yeah, yeah, Bill of course unlocking a lot more possibilities for getting the shock for both players to be sure, but certainly uh certainly opening up more so we'll see how that changes the bagging duel i think that's usa winning the bagging uh duel right now at least in going and being in 10th place at this moment who's to say if england's bagger fear has the shock right now no it looks like that bagger is going through the sand going backwards so at least fear doesn't have it right now but we could see things change it's lap three blue shell being held by back kick here it's gonna be ripped so surely england going to lose a spot i don't think xander's had reason to lose a spot just as of yet, but Bill will be activated. No shock coming in just as of yet. Doesn't seem like England's been able to land it. They'll have three, four, five, but he's gonna get landed right in the sand. And I don't know about using the Bill in that moment right there. It's gonna be meaning that US South takes top two right here. Yeah, not the, not the oh, most favorite rough, unfortunately, but coming in late, last set as being rocked up though. Gonna be said Chuck coming in right before boxes. It's, Fred is going to pick up a box, but he's unfortunately only going to get a blooper. That's not going to be what he's looking for. Foul coming in. Bill coming up from the side, too. It's going to get Pat. Will be able to dodge the pit going in tight. We'll still make it okay. fourth. Right past up. Macy right on the line for fourth place for Fred. Yeah, at least able to pass one player from it. The shock, it doesn't seem like anyone was able to advance from it, but simply just the difference between fifth and fourth and how quickly you're able to grow from being minimized by the shock was just enough just a bit they needed to cross and get those extra points. So a relatively solid start, I believe, on both sides. Who ended up getting first place, the, the plus 15 here? That's the uh, that's the big question mark. And it is going to be revised. Yep. Two, three, four, though, on the answer back from England, though, will give them the edge on the race, though. Yeah. The shock, I mean, if nothing else, it looks like they were able to get it towards the very end there. Uh, it may be not having the biggest impact as, as they'd like, but it still works out fine. Uh, England was still somehow able to salvage the two, three, four behind first. It would have been really fortunate, um, but I think the, the bill being used in that situation signals to me that they might not have even had shock until, yeah, the latter part of that that last lap. Because um, otherwise, yeah, like what? No one wants to be landed in the, in the sand there, let alone chance it. Yeah, I don't actually hate it. Also, at that point, you know, you're holding Bill all race. Shock still isn't hasn't come up, and at that point, you just want to catch up and try and try and make a splash going out through those mid spots and i don't i don't actually hate the usage at the end of the day he was still able to scrape by fourth even with that blooper pull on the last set so fred really just kind of used everything he had and managed to come up pretty uh, with a pretty nice spot in that fourth place yeah and they <laughs> speaking uh, they seem to want this pretty nice track called koopa cave um i guess unanimously across the board so we'll go be going there um a fairly neutral track Makes sense. Race two coming in uh, as England is hoping to really push up on the first place here, be relentless maybe in throwing the items they have in the three positions behind him. We'll see if they're successful in that bout. But for now, it's Fred on the right side, backing bananas immediately. And I don't think England's gonna be able to do the shroom, but no, it's still revised holding that first place position. Maybe Basie able to trail them as well. And back kick also. Back kick in a great position to maybe look out for the troll here, but is going to decide to take the tighter line and, and just continue going on their way. Will get the wheelie bump from their teammate, but seems like, yeah, it seems like they're riding comfortably here. I do think that might have been a little bit of a missed opportunity, but they aren't losing too much from it. However, they will lose a bit more from running into the lightning rod there. Yeah, that will definitely put a detriment on it. Star does get dropped and will get picked up by Macy by the looks of it. So. 
she's gonna find herself a little bit of a lead in first place also followed by back cake but not too uh not too soon here comes zach showing up second with a top five a green day the trail we're looking at fred also in fifth with triple reds but doesn't be able to do too much with chi right in front so we'll just go for that chumba yeah sometimes the star at the end of, of the lap can be a little bit tricky it can seem like it's like no oh. one is actually Ooh, bomb coming in no it doesn't quite quite land uh, we'll see if that happens again with the star at the end. Sometimes it doesn't show, it doesn't seem like they're in the star, but they indeed have picked it up. But either way, Fred Triple Shrooms here in a decent position. Might be using this to, no, it doesn't use it earlier to maybe cut off the corners and spam hopping uh, on the wall as the threat has been nowadays. Zach in third. Doesn't seem like England have any of the top two spots, so they're surely looking to do that soon. Um, but as it is, lap three, there's been no big gap. Ooh, Fred getting knocked over to the side there. He's forced to use that shroom and only gets a third place item. Uh, is able to avoid the pow though. Should be able to do the shroom, but here, can you get a snipe on too? I don't think that's the biggest concern of his, but no, not quite. The alignment isn't right there, but is in distance of back kick. Back kick, are you looking back? I don't, uh, we aren't able to tell, but it's still quite the one-on-one -on -one here to determine who's going to be able to get the plus 15. And of course, just that three point difference on onto second place, it, it, it does matter. It does end up changing the tides of of matches. We'll see if this green comes close as it does, but Shock does come in. Shock comes in. That's Revise dodging up in the bill as well. So that looks like it's going to be uh, plus 15 coming up for Revise, potentially. Looking at back eight, top two occupied right now by USA. Single true. This is a very and nice here off that top two for USA. And Fred got starred afterwards in the tunnels. It's looking great for US South. They're able to pull off a great use of that Shock. And lead them surely to a victory to be able to take not only the lead, but to start building maybe something of a gap here. Definitely. An answer back coming from that 2 3 4 on DDR from England is now being shoved back down the throats of England in the form of at least the top two on Koopa Cave. Yeah, so so far it's it's been interesting, but like yeah, Bagger is very much keeping it keeping it close. Uh, Sam was able to maximize his use of Trying to drop items, that's top two, five, six coming in for U.S. South. M being able to maximize, you know, it it's tricky. It's tricky, right? On, on courses like Koopa Cape, where you can only go backwards for so long. Uh, or even courses like BC3, where you can infinitely go backwards, but you have things like Thwomps to be able to drop stars with. There's always this, like, line you're trying to balance, right? Of, like, how much can I be actively participating in, in being able to benefit my team's races by showing up with stars dropping items for them or just showing up as like a cushion for tcs and how much should i balance going for the shock uh and and it's a tough line to balance sometimes but sam able to m do it to perfection uh as as you're able to better do on koopa cape and they get the they get the win off that and a 12 point lead that isn't is surely nothing to scoff at and surely time will tell like what 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 because often at this level of play Having a lead can mean nothing. Like having a 10 point lead, like, I don't know. Zex, you play it at, at, at relatively high levels. Getting a big race against a team of your kind of skill caliber, like that ain't easy. It's not easy. And at that point, you get to a point where at and at the highest level possible, no lead really feels safe. You know, you can be up 30, but that can all be erased in a single race. So I, you're never really safe until you're at least plus 50, maybe even higher. Right. <laughs> and at this level, yeah, there's, there, there kind of, there is no very, it's hard to feel any level of safety in the World Cup Finals. So we'll see if they're able to build that sense of safety in a DK Summit race. Well, back kick's able to take the tighter line here. Will you spam the bananas? That's common practice when you're landing for the jump. Doesn't quite, oh, I think he lands onto Xander there. Yeah, actually. Um, but does have Fred now for competition. Drags the green. Will he be able to get in front of Fred? Not quite. Almost runs into the fit themselves. <gasps> does get hit off. Still makes it. That's rather fortunate. Wow. The alignment just being perfect for them. And and I don't know. I mean, great job on back kick spark. Also a little bit lucky, but top two for USA South either way. I can't believe he got hit off just before the double and still lived to tell the tale. And on top of that, a single shoot in second to boot for back kick. Not too bad if you ask me. And now USA looking like maybe a top, maybe the top four off that. Just surrounded by uh, red, white, and blue in uh, the top spots of DK Mountain.
You have to be careful with this kid there. A little wide, but bro. Oh, that kick <laughs> isn't going to make it that time. That is crazy. He got he, the, the time he gets pushed, he wasn't able to make it. But unfortunately, yeah, not able to quite convert on this time alone. I am wondering, do we have a disconnection that maybe happened? I do only see one funky behind back kick here. And Fred's stream did go out. Uh, I think maybe, maybe. Uh, but either way, we're going to see at least lap three back kick's perspective quite far back, but Revised still seems to be in first place. U.S. South still seeming to have good positions here. And only having a POW. This POW could be crucial. You'll see maybe use of it around the double shortcut. Maybe, maybe they'll mess them up, but no, it doesn't seem like that'll be the case. Shock does come in. Target Shock will do the job that's needed, maybe. Gets rid of Chi, I think. It's possible. No, Chi's still running up there in, in, in a top spot, but we'll have to see what the effect of it is. Double coming in for a back kick here. Reds maybe being able to be used right here soon after, but no, it's Xander in fifth. Those Reds won't, won't reach anytime soon. And a bit of a mixed bag to finish this one off on race three. Couldn't quite tell. I know that Revise had first place. Sh could you tell whose team, whose team that shock was? I, I really could. I wanted to say <laughs> it was Doolin's shock because I wanted to say they looked like they were trying to maybe TS on the double cut as they were approaching. But with how it went down, it seemed like they were just trying to go for as many people as possible to maybe try yeah. to tighten the, uh, tighten the pack. Right. But I wasn't really sure whose shock that was at all. But once again, it's going to be revised coming out on top. A one, four, six, seven coming out from USA. And we're not going to say anything about what what revises potential score at the end of this GP could be. But uh, he's had three really good, really good races so far, and just hasn't been able to get shuck out of first place. I mean, DK Summit was this this course was interesting in particular because it wasn't him that started off in first, but still able to maintain that position and not also get also not get blue um things seeming fortunate for him and that that plus 15 is going the distance each and every race uh so they're looking to to at least build on top of it and i don't know what if you're in first place and maybe don't have as many you don't have two three uh what what kind of track is is coconut mall a track pick that makes sense for you yeah but it's also like it's it's kind of like Right at the start, you're hoping your team is at the back. You guys get the shrooms. You're able to take that first lap cut to really shake up the spots. But the unfortunate thing about Coconut Mall is that really only works for the first lap because after that first lap finishes, the pack is a bit more solidified. The people at the front usually will stay at the front without the help of, you know, a shock or some kind of detrimental like blue or some crazy bomb snipe or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So if you're if you're praying to have coconut mall as your catch-up track your timing is very limited with a track like this right the beginning is so important and we'll see here if usa is able to this is their track pick they said hey we had one four but that's fine let's chance on us being able to get shrooms case in point triple shrooms in six for it plays going into four casper has great items and being able to troll in triple greens especially as maybe england comes out of the cut coming soon if he's able to get here in time we'll see if yeah if us outs go if us South plans goes according to plan uh bill being held though in eighth place for england will signal especially on a track that it's like you you it's becoming more and more meta to go for the glitch you know as baggers which lets you have a kind of more free free pass to being able to get boxes but no no yeah it looks like they're both going backwards now towards the 30 second marker and both will have relatively decent shots at getting the shock yep early shot coming in here for getting the uh, getting the the bolt at 45 seconds similar. And it's gonna mean at least being able to finally overtake the vibe that we're gonna be able to really press our presence and everyone you had to build and stay tough. Yeah, if anything you just go for it and what happens there and try to maybe provide some support from as the race goes on, but for now Fred's gonna look to hold down the court in the first place. Yeah. Curious to see what uh, other perspectives we have here as well. I believe U.S. South in third place uh, behind Zach. So it's a England top two, and this surely could be at least something of a comeback. But Blue Shell does come in and as soon as we say that. So Zach's going to now have to hold down the fort here. It's 2-3 for USA. Both taking the shortcut. Be careful, England. They don't have too much... You already don't have quite, you're facing the deficit. You don't want it to grow. He does have the POW now though in, in, in Fred. And this POW could be used relatively lethally here. Yeah, it's gonna be used right here at this big long turn. Gonna send them wide and that's gonna mean third place. 
and maybe even being able to push up on the second here, but watch out, people coming in with shrooms. It's lap three, must turn up right now. Triple shrooms, my god, that's the item you want to get as you go into the boost pads. Has to avoid the green. Will he be able to pass up on his Casper, though? I think the answer is not, but the bomb does come out. Does it result in anything? No, not quite. In England, it, it, it was... It, it was as you said, Zex. It was as you said. After that first lap, your windows of opportunity are so limited. England heard you, and they were like, bet. Bullet Bill, Shock, as soon as we can, we're going to spam the living hell out of that. And they circumvented that rule. Yeah, and that's all you can really do. The, the name of the game is just to get up there and stay up there. And that's that's where you're going to find the start of your success. And then after that, after that, the rest is just in the hands of your, your mid-pack runners to really just try and support from the front. And you know, one four five coming out again uh, as a response from Team England, and you know that's also gonna stop Revise's special number that we were looking at for. But fortunately, yeah. stop there, and yeah. uh, that number will still not be spoken until uh, <laughs> until it happens. <laughs> but what does actually end up happening is England at, at least able to close the gap a little bit, and what we have here is just an A point affair, an A point difference between the two. Uh, and surely neither team can be feeling too terrible about their performances, which getting off to a good start, making sure you're at least keeping it even, I think was actually a, a really important part of us South's game plan here. I mean, we saw the start that they got in the semifinals. It was let, let's be blunt. It was nothing short of a train wreck. Like I literally looked at that and I thought, Oh, I'm going to, I turn, I I'm turning off the stream now because this is going to be bad. And I, I just can't bear to witness it anymore. And, and and later on, they end up building on top of that. But you don't want to have to face that, especially against England, especially in the finals. And that they got this kind of start is a really promising sign for them. Definitely. And right off the gate, too, you know, it's still anyone's game. You know, plus plus eight is definitely a nice chip to have. You know, you won the first GP, but your cushion isn't exactly safe. You know, we were talking about it before. Any lead can just be erased just at the snap of the fingers. And, you know, with a track like, you know, BC64, another another great front running track with lots of, you know, shock bots and chances to really um, try, like get a big race off of it. Anything's possible here. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, what, what do you make of the N64 BC pick here? I mean, we do have USA now starting off in 134. How do you, how this might how might this go in their their advantage at this point? Definitely, it's a good place to look at, especially if you control those one four spots. You know, fourth having that draft opportunity right off the right off the gate at the start of the race. So, if you get the early draft, you can really snag into an early top two. As you're seeing Fred already getting that golden up, moving into top spots, getting right into second place. So, shoves a little bit of uh, of England into those top spots as he's going to try and pressure back eight for that first. Mm. Yeah, and it's looking like they're going to be able to pressure relatively well here uh well at least they have some time to get some better pressure on they do have a red but surely fred wants to be able to maybe try to get even another red in second to try to start chucking these and getting something in his favor uh shock reds power reds are also incredibly powerful on this track multiple spots where you can really force first place to come to an absolute break we'll see if they are able to leverage that to their advantage. Yep, two reds are able to come out. Now, if they're able to throw it here, they should be able to catch them, catch them on the grass, but I think this might be a little bit too late. Yeah, a little bit too late of a red to catch them on the U-bend. That makes it really tough to block that red as a first place player. I get another red, but uh, it surely won't be uh, easy to land it on, on them now. Yeah, at least he does have Zach now in third, so we do have some support coming up for Fred. Hmm. The English are coming up. Another red is launched, I'm afraid that probably won't hit back kicks established himself quite the lead here in first so it's going to take quite a bit to get him out of that first place spot yeah but yeah just the the duel between the two and trying to get a trying to get a better look at what's happening in the back here but it's hard to tell sometimes with who is exactly winning this duel but we'll want to keep our eye on that if we can uh as both both baggers it seems like they aren't yeah, I'm not, not able to quite tell. It seems like one bagger is like sitting at the first box. They have a very comfortable gap, at least it seems. Uh, but we'll see what, what ends up translating out of it. Still, lap three is USA very firmly in the driver's seat. I have not seen a, a, a lead like this in the World Cup so far in a very long time. But the shock will end up coming out. I suspect it might be a US South one, just given the 
huge lead they have, and they might, might be wanting to gain up on the second place. That is correct. Rise is now pushing about the Fred. Fred, watch out for any snipes coming in. Isn't able to land quite the green that it maybe wanted. Is going for the shortcut now, but Revise isn't able to push up onto them. But USA having three, four, five, I think, could be a really incredible race and maybe the biggest gap we've seen in the war so far, if that is the case. Yeah, I think you hit that right on the nail too. It looking looking like a one, three, four, five coming up from USA South, and that's really going to give them a little bit more of a cushion than uh, that eight point window we were talking about at the start of the GP, but really just coming out and that's what i was saying before you know lots of great shock spots you're controlling first place as well that it was just it was a textbook shock coming from usa south and they truly capitalized on the opportunity yeah you know last last year when england just talking just talking a little bit about england's performances in last year's because right now they're facing a little bit of a deficit and in not last year's, but the last World Cup in 2021, they were knocked out by U.S. North uh, in the semifinals. It was a 2-0 sweep, uh, and it was, I believe, at the time, it was Ryan and Taz who were coming in for that 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 lineup, filling in with Xander and Luke, and they struggled. They really struggled to to flourish, and especially in the second match, they really struggled to respond. They gained an early deficit. And they weren't able to, they were able to mount a comeback, but it wasn't enough. And we're seeing a little bit of a similar trend here. Um, where they do they trail the first GP by a decent bit, start being able to at least like yeah, they start off with like a relatively big gap in score. And we'll see if they're able to up uptrend in that. England hasn't been in a losing seat so far in this World Cup. They haven't been backs against their wall, they haven't faced this type of scenario. And notably, they haven't faced that like backs up against the wall in a bracket in the World Cup, and they haven't been able to come out uh, historically to be able to say we we won. However, that did just happen in the in the semifinals, I believe, against Japan. They really showed that they were able to after the first match completely reset. So we'll see if they're able to reset, especially with a track like Sherbet Land. See if they're able to reset um, and and maybe get some better position onto onto this American side where. They've been struggling to get a, a, a good start for themselves. Definitely. But at this point, you know, it's still like, a, it's still pretty tight. You know, what we were talking about, all you need is that one good race. Right. And, you know, it's, and then there you go, back kick right off the gate. You know, Bill again in eighth. We're seeing quite a few Bills in eighth being pulled super early on in these races. And we saw the Mega activated on a bagger from England. So I, I, I think that was actually able to connect. So if that was... That might have been a really big mega on on cheese part being able to send fear to, to last place and with back kick holding the bill that actually might be ending up that might end up in in in, in england's favor so we'll see how what the what the result of if, if fear as a bagger starts slowing down or changing or deviates in any path to indicate they might have shock but in the meantime fred sign are yeah and i mean they got a really good force out of the bill from back kick a treacherous bump almost sent them off the ground but a very, a very nice usage, and uh, had to burn it, unfortunately, but better to burn it than to fall off the track. Yeah, yeah, I honestly didn't think he would, like, get away with being able to use it. Like, you see so often, how does come in. Scary power for a second, but not the most scary. You, you so often see, like, people being sent off or bumped off those little cliffs on the edges of Sherbet Land, and they try to spam their bill, but it's it's so often ends up being the case they aren't able to use it. And speaking oh. of going treacherously close to the cliff, <laughs> A red just barely uh, just getting clipped on the edge there. Someone getting target shocked ahead of back kick. I believe it was an England member. Now a TC battle in fifth. Able to avoid it? No, he wasn't able to quite avoid it. Does pass it to Revise at the last second. And on lap three, that is so crucial. That will basically guarantee Revise in eighth place. And now Fred has a spitting chance of being able to come back up. Now. Cup, come back up now, but back he gets knocked out to the side. Fred in sixth place with a golden mushroom, and you're going to want to spam that as soon as possible. Now it's Xander with the TC. England in three, four, two, three, four, five. It would be an incredible result if they were able to hold on to it, but that's an incredible ask to make on lap three of Sherbet Land. That's it. A lot can happen, but the pack is pretty spread from fourth to the rest of oh, the pack. True. have just enough of a window to be able to secure it. Oh, baby. <laughs> we're unfortunately paused so i can't tell you what's actually go back go back go back go back go back by lot go back by lot go back by lot uh that's fourth place for england i think he might have choked at the end i can't tell sixth place for back cake 
avoids the bill, I guess, at the last second. Okay, sure. Why not? I We can't quite tell what exactly happened in the results at the very last second, but we'll try to see what ends up becoming of the race. Unfortunately, the streams took a little bit of a hiccup, but hey, it, it, it so is in the business of copy and pasting player streams and, and as many as you can into one stream. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, what did you make of the end there happening? Uh, I saw someone dodge in a star and I saw a bomb get dropped, but I don't think I saw anything else because it yeah. just all happened so quickly. It all happened so quickly and I don't think the result changed for it that much either. It's one four seven eight for US South. So at least able to recover actually a decent bit. I mean, the bomb may have been devastating or something. Who knows? Because we did see England in two, three, four, five going like coming out of that cave, but Xander did get hit with that TC. They still had two, three, four, but Something happened. They weren't able to hold into that two, three, four. It's at least a two, three for England, but might be I a. Also just have word that we have a penalty coming to USA Ooh. South. A Ooh. minus twenty is being hit from USA South. Oh, is it like is is it like that bad? Is it like oh yeah, this is this is like a minus twenty dog, or is it like or is like is like toaster one hundred and one in chat and like ev everyone is typing on Discord. Well. I've been pinged in the media server, and okay, if there's one it. there's one guy I should trust, it's probably the head stream host. So okay. <laughs> I'm going to go up the limb and say there's probably a minus 20 being hit. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. We just got a video of the troll. Yep. It's, it's clear as day. It was a, uh, a bagger push into, into car on Coconut Mall. All right. We'll yeah. see. We'll see how much that affects things. It's now only what could have been a 24 point lead. US South has to kiss that goodbye. Unfortunately, that's the name of the game. Baggers have to play risky, and unfortunately, it does go against them sometimes. And now it's all of a sudden Grumble Volcano, where literally anything can happen. And they, those baggers, these bagger, baggers on Grumble Volcano cannot play any riskier because the play in the back is so, so, it can be so aggressive, right? Uh, at the in the first boxes of the baggers hit, they can either stall there, they can go for the golden, the golden strat to try to go backwards, uh, and make a respawn. But speaking of goldens, we have back kick with a golden fourth. Huge. Oh, good call. That's a really <laughs> good item. They're getting the fifth. And we'll see if he's able to at least complete it. Yep, is able to do that, and now speed along to his heart's content. As US South looking to build a huge lead at the beginning of this one. What a pull for back kicking in USL. Yeah, I mean, there's not too many better items uh, you can get in fifth. In fact, there is no better item you can get in fifth. Really just hitting the lottery bomb in the chuck it all the way back by Fred is going to claim up one prisoner, and that's all he's going to He's going to go for another, but is act behind him this time, so it's going to take the wide route, maybe try and drop another red at the end. We'll top, drop, drop the top, and that's going to be the end of that. Two, three, four, five for England, though. Xander and, or no, it'll be just Chi going for the cut. Doesn't quite make rock, unfortunately. So England will have two, three, four, five. Careful for any shock that might happen. I mean, a lot of US South have the potential of being cut. Nobody in the cut, though. So it's nothing coming yet. They're deciding that maybe if anyone is shocked, they're holding on to it. And I have to go seven places right after Fred. going to spam him up his stream. It's going to get into a vanilla set of the and it's just going to have to probably just burn these once again, trying to look for a dodge potentially. It may actually be the idea that Team England has a shot at another set of pulls. It's going to go for another four set of pulls again. Going to be sure enough, Luke gets launched as well. One more stream for the cut is going to be saved off by Fred. Ooh, and there it goes. And bam! Shock is activated. Shock is coming in. Okay. That's, okay. That's, 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 God bless you. God bless you. You just wrapped God in your heart's content off your mic is messed up or something. I don't know. Um, but God bless you for that one. Grumble Volcano, a chaotic finish to that one. And and currently, it, it, I wasn't able to quite make out exactly what happened, but shock coming out at the very last second. And we'll see what the results are coming in shortly but i i do wonder i do wonder yeah this this course is a haven for it seems like england getting the top two finish on that one able to completely overtake the huge lead that backing was able to generate and surely at least what could have been an incredibly awful an incredibly awful race for england turns upside down I believe we have uh, some technical difficulties we're running into, so we're troubleshooting on the fly. But in the meantime, 
We are still uh, kicking here, and so is England and U.S. South. It's a one-point deficit as we get things underway for our upcoming races. BC3 will be the track pick of choice for U.S. South in a very quick and definite response in that regard. And Zach, we might have you back. Testing. All right, I think cool. we're back. Stick. Stick. What's up? What's up? What's up? Yeah, I don't know what it was. I, I, I just like... Someone was just like decide like uh, whatever was doing this to you. It was like seemingly as if someone wanted to press a mute button on you every like 0.75 seconds, which produced quite an ending for Grubble Volcanoes. That, <laughs> um, but welcome back. We're, we'll, we'd love to have you. And we're going into BC3. This is US South's pick. They got three, four, five, six. What do you think their game plan is here? Get shrooms and take the cut. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have to be that complicated, does it? <laughs> yeah, it sometimes the, the, the most simple answer is the, the best play you can possibly make. The name of the game is to just take the cut, get up there, establish that that front run presence, and hope a shock doesn't TS the entire team. Looks like there's some contention on the shortcut, though. Xander is knocked off, I think, completely. Casper able to take cut com successfully as well. So. England in a position where they would have had 1-3-4. I think Casper was just able to clip on the Xander just in time. And, ooh, oh, wait, that's, that's a bad kick. And now, yeah, able to get rid of England entirely. The schlagging masterclass coming up from back kick and then gets rewarded on top of that with another shroom in second. So he could double it on the on the cut if he wants. But on top of that, right at the back, we're seeing Fred golden up right near Macy. So they're both looking to grind their ways back up to that, that mid spot. Uh, pack right there, but still occupying top two is USA looking real strong uh, after lap one on BC3. Ake able to take the cut and land themselves into at least the first place here now. So able to push up this ginormous lead from the US South side. Fred looking for a gateway into it. Uh, getting bumped around a little bit. Has to be wary. Macy does play as best a role as she can in delaying that, but it won't be enough. Golden's in the sixth place and beyond. And now England having a lot of mid-spot, mid-pack spots here. I think it might be three through six, if I saw that correctly. Yeah, three through six. And with the Mega in play, you I mean, we've had to wonder how the bagging duel is going. It clearly seems like one is winning it over the other. And actually, it seems to be relatively neck and neck and one person being very far behind. Were you able to make out who's, who's in last place? No, I wasn't at all. Um, both batters mm. look like they're like driving like exactly close though and Fred ops to use the banker right here is going to look to try and unblock the fib for his team so we'll make that play triple shrooms also gets chained up as well is going to chain once more for six going to find the gold and so he's going to use that gold to try and get his self back up there but going on to this last set here shot yet to be used and doesn't look like we might see it just yet an Boxing incredible and incredible star drop from the other from USA's bagger prevents them from getting bomb snipe at the very end huge on their part huge huge on sam's part to be able to clutch that up at the end there because otherwise it's england overtaking in second back kick losing second for sure to maybe third fourth or even fifth place job well done on their part definitely an absolutely massive play and that's what we were talking about you know the baggers deciding should you should you drop or should you go for shock and right there instead of going for shock sam makes the correct play and dropping the item for his team to being able to secure up those top those top spots so. right right and it looks like yeah top two for usa able to respond so the last race being completely nullified it's still a still a close battle but yeah it was interesting because on bc3 i don't know i mean there's not many bc3 races where like you don't have a shock happen relatively rare uh if i if i if i do say so myself and uh yeah, like being able to commit to that idea of like, okay, well, we have like top two right now and the baggers towards the end both fell off. Um, I think just trying to get rid of items or something. So making the call to be like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to continue going back and try to get shocked because we have top two and I'd rather just prepare for that. Um, it, it ends up playing in USA South's favor. Definitely. And then they also get top two bottom two. So they have some, they have some ideas they can play with here. And right. You know, you have like the two at the back to really try and get those power items to get up front early, but you also have that great top two presence to start off. And yeah. seeing uh, Delfino being looked at and also Maple Tree White on the other side, so. Yeah, it was interesting. That kick, I think, was hovering over Moonview Highway as a, as a pick, which is viable. 
but they decided to offer Maple Tree Way for their top 278, which I would argue a much safer and maybe better track to pick, just given the lag differences. We've seen how they've come into play, how much lag, especially just like lagging around bomb cars or bumping into cars. They can play a huge, huge role, so they get the pick, and it's big for them. We'll see if it goes their way. Fred looking to get the optimal start, but does get bumped into the fence by Macy. A, a great bump on her part, and it will send Fred at least to eighth place, and they, he just doesn't get the item that he maybe should have gotten, triple shrooms in eighth. So not the greatest start for England's behalf. And with four races left to go, uh, US South getting off to a great start here. Yeah, looking good so far. Uh, already top two right off the boot, still continuing in Casper first place they were talking just before the match about how impressed they were with Casper's play throughout the World Cup now uh, it definitely is uh, a, the right choice to get the nod into the grand finals with blue coming out early on 40 seconds in is going to take off back kick and on the netting as well you never you never if you're ever in that scene you never love to see that but it did, is this real do we see like all these USA spots where we're seeing them is this is this just an illusion, or is USA just having an incredible race so far? I, I don't know. It's looking pretty strong, but we do see Fred launching up that blue, so might have something to say about that as it is honing on first place. Box and Six is going to get right. a Mega 2. <laughs> yeah, who, who are you talking about? I mean, both of them pulled up on that item set, I apparently. Know that. Yeah, apparently, I both, know. Of them held, both of them holding that left D-pad. Uh, yeah, two Megas at the same time. Could be relatively potent, especially for this really narrow bridge. Yep, Fred is gonna activate. Let's see. He does end up picking up a shroom maybe where he didn't want to, uh, but does slow down people a little bit and it's absolute chaos behind him. Still able to get, and now it's England in top two four. What the heck are we seeing? I think that's the, that's the goal that not a lot of people look at too. It's like, you don't necessarily have to hit the other team, but if you're slowing them down while your top two is running at full speed ahead, you're already giving them bonus time. Shock just come in though. That's back kicking the cannon. Able to push up onto much of the top spots here. Has to go wide and avoid a lot of people, but it's Casper now in second. Back kick in third. USA able to reverse this around and in a place where England could have taken a huge lead to, to finish off the GP. Now, no, it's still being very much contested. Lap three, triple greens on the most lethal part of the track to have triple greens on. Will back kick be able to use them? As, as he needs to, but no, it's actually US South right behind him. So US South have having all the spots behind first. Can Fred do anything about it? Trailing on the very outer edges of, of that log there towards the end in fourth place. No, it's up the side to the end. And Macy, I think Macy or backing whoever it was churns them out. And it's US South to start things off here in more commanding of a fashion. Just wow. absolutely shutting the door on Fred's hopes and dreams to try and make it a 1-4. Triple Green say otherwise and says, nah, -uh, buddy, this is our turf. Wow. 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 Yeah, th th and, and quite the play, because, like, it's so hard to identify in that position. In that position, Yeah, USA 2-3-4, something happened. They revised there towards the end. Maybe just getting a mediocre item, honestly. But 2-3-4-7 means a race win for them. It's a five point race win. And that's building and building and building that lead, building that gap in, in, we have not seen big, big pushes and pulls in this war. We've only seen one big race win. And that was a one, three, four, five, I believe on USA South's part. And that's been it. Like that's really been it for this war. So even just having a 10 point deficit or, you know, building towards that huge, every, every single point mattering. But that's yeah, the, the sense of awareness, like, God, uh, like, just to be able to like, call, cause you know, those comms in that, in that call, it's hectic. Like it's hectic. Like, I don't know. I don't know about you, Zex, but like in terms of like comms and just like lap three, when like things are happening left and right, it's like so hard to keep like, to understand it, everything that's happening, you know? Yeah. I mean, if you're Fred, all you're thinking is I just got to do what I can. I just got to get in there. I got to just push through. And he really, he really was going. He was making uh, a great effort with a lot of hustle coming out from Fred. But unfortunately, at the wrath of Triple Greens, it was just going to slide swipe him right on the line, being able to yeah. send him from that fourth all the way to like, seventh or something like that. All right. Upgrade. It, it's it's three races left, y'all. Uh, and we see BC Wee coming in here, which it, it, we'll see who exactly 
is able to finesse the glitch if anyone or if england or usa decide to block the glitch early on but oh the fib coming oh. out and the snipe i don't know who that was from but it eliminates usa's from usa from two three casper was in second now with the tc in like a bottom spot eighth place getting messed up by g <laughs> and company it is steamingly over at the very beginning but if it wasn't bc we if, if, it, if it wasn't BC, we, that's what we'd be saying. But now we're looking at the glitch, seeing who's going to be able to take it. Fred slips up on it. Will back kick slip on it? Nope, he's not going to even go for it. Not even going to chance it. But still, what action coming out at the beginning of the map, and we're going to see a big gap in, in the mini map to show for it. Yeah, it just fired right off the gate. Zach with the beautiful fit, fit back spam coming off from the first place. Just starts it all, and then Chi just completely continues it with... You know, back kick hitting the trail red, him pulling out another set of triple reds, back kick pulling out a bomb. Everyone was just up in flames. And that's why what you're looking at, your mini mount might be looking a little bit more like a world ride right now. <laughs> the great, great way of putting it, but yeah. And then, and then, yeah, we only have glimpses onto what's happening here in the back. And now a lot of these racers, I mean, we're at a point where glitch is meta. A lot of these racers are gonna be looking at glitch, seeing if they can do it be able to come back up as their, their comeback mechanism but no it's backing that's not able to make it but fred is able to at least so with the lap to spare being able to finally have a say in what's happening here and are you gonna be able to get a star off maybe on anyone no not quite has to avoid this red does just barely and sees himself into fourth place as a result and if fred four. One four yeah. being held by uk or eng i so. think it's actually two four uh, zach in second and actually no you might be right uh, either way Careful for the mega here. Backspin, having to avoid the backspin doesn't quite do that exactly. But yeah, if it, it seems like four, uh, it seems like four, five, six at the very least, and and Zach up there, wherever wherever he's at. Yeah, and the pal coming in though, not going to be able to even attempt this. TC is going to be taking out Chi after box. A mega from Fred gets used immediately in case the shot comes in. He does have a great opportunity. Doesn't go for it. I don't know if that was intentional. It looked like he might have. That might have been a mistake. England do have fourth. It looks like back he's just going to be stuck in eighth place. And I think England lost the spot behind fourth place. I may see able to take fifth. So maybe a one, three, five to finish things off. And yeah, wow. It, it, the race could have gone in many different directions. And it, it kind of just, it kind of decided to go none of those. And just, it just played out neutrally, relatively so. But US South holding on to, I think, a relatively decent race for them. Yeah, they took all the hecticness you were supposed to see on lap three and just took it all on turn two of lap one. Uh, wow. And then, yeah, one, three, five odds coming out for USA. So a very decent race coming up from them. Going to add to the padding just a little bit, but still uh, still nowhere near comfortable for USA. Is this really is this really this four or three? Wow. OK, that's that's crazy. Yeah, because it's they're slowly adding to it, but like. You can't feel confident in that. Like you can't feel confident in a twelve point lead when when I mean you have two races left. And by the way, shouts out to Xander's one oh five after ten. Um pretty pretty incredible result to be having at this at this point. And really yeah. doing a lot of work. Or sorry, it's uh, Zach with one oh five. Xander uh, is is their second as their second perform, uh, second best performing player at 63 points. So really, uh, Zach doing as best he can to, at least for what they, at least for what a table can say, right? Because the table does never, never really says the fuller picture of things. And Xander is surely one of the person to really do whatever it takes to win. It doesn't matter if it's racing or slagging or whatever. But Zach showing up in a big way here. Uh, Definitely. And we have seen this from Zach before also, who's had incredible also turnout in the World Cup. You know, we've seen him have great score lines in the past for past matches. And there's no surprise to see him once again being in that triple digit margin coming off right off the, uh, the first ma uh, set of the uh, Grand Finals. Yeah. Looking at Peach Gardens. Peach Gardens, yeah. Uh, relatively neutral, enables catch up play for sure back kick and xander are going to slow down but uh xander is going to slow down even more so with that mega in the cut and gonna send back kick way 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 back and then fred in the meantime playing around middle spots seeing what they can get maybe a golden how about uh no tc okay 
Well, yeah, <laughs> you really gave me the Uno card, reverse Uno card right there, right? <laughs> well, I, I, sorry, I just thought this was Batcake string. I thought I thought we'd get something else, but uh, it was, was seeing the wrong person. But in the meantime, Batcake, yeah, Bill and Ace, yeah, having incredible luck there on his part. Yeah, definitely. It was taking a few time, a uh, few seconds to smell the roses early on the off one, but now is holding off that Bill, so it's gonna be chilling while we're holding this. Right on the other hand, eighth place, you know, with that star, so both yeah. uh, both back on the POVs as we're gonna be chilling for just a little bit but hopefully fred can get some shrooms up here to try and get himself up and you know asking you shall receive yeah and peach garden is is very much a track where you can kind of like i don't know like dick around a bit in the in the first like lap or two you can start off from way far back and be able to make a come, come back sometimes at least but especially with uh, help with triple shrooms, but Fred's gonna get TC and extend even further back, and there's not much more ground he can afford to lose at this point. Uh, and both our players here are pretty, pretty far back. So the real, the main utility being being here is is just the bullet build, just simply being able to hold that build, giving their bagger a better shot at, at shock. We, I would fully expect the build to be used here in the short, but no, still holding on to it, not wanting to give any hints of, of what he has and. I don't think he, that he has really a single hope of being able to, able to catch him at first place or, or relatively near it, but we'll see how the how the shock transpires. Star Chain here in seventh place, four triple shrooms. Fred does have seem to have a bit better of a chance in coming back now at this point. And I don't know, would you say the bill is too late on back kick's part? I think the bill is too late. I think he was kind of just holding it in some sort of hope that a shock gets pulled, but it looks like it's just going to be shockless through and throughout. We do see England with... Uh, seven eight or, or sorry six seven so I, i'm not really quite sure what the spots were beyond that unfortunately but second to last race these results will really matter england needed something decent you know something to get the wheels turning something of a momentum starter they haven't had that in the last two races and it's getting relatively concerning for them going if, if they don't want to go down a match that's just it, and yeah, you know, USA one three five again, so that's gonna yeah. extend their lead just a little bit more. This is gonna force Team England to really need a big race coming for race twelve coming uh, up. Yeah, it's it's a minus nineteen deficit, even with the minus twenty. So like, man, it's. I mean, we're if we're talking about the kind of starts that teams can get, England has had a solid start, you know, but it's it's been singular moments where. Or sorry, it's been a mixture of the singular moment, the singular one, three, four, five that really started things off for US South in GP2. And really just the consistent one, three, fives that US South has been able to have um, in this in this last uh, GP. I also think it just like tells like quite a, a big story about this war too, that the biggest race we've seen so far is a one, three, four, five. Yeah, right, right, right. Like it just so even even evenly matched at this point that like it yeah it just tells a lot about like how, how evenly pitted they are and 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 like if you really think about that race they had a great setup you know they had bc64 they had first going into lap three and then they also had shock with a couple dodges you know mm -hmm. they were really set up to to have a great race and to really if you really think about that i think that's really going to tell you how neck and neck this really is and if this is how the first match goes, I have it. It's only gonna well, be crazy. Well, well, hold hold your horses there, though. This is the <laughs> last race. We don't know how this is gonna turn out. It's a 19 point deficit, and it's also MC3. We had there is at least one more race of Mario Kart Wii to be to be played here to determine who really is gonna take this match one. Sure, back kick. US, USA South is doing great. Has a single stream in fourth. We'll be able to push up into those top spots. But who's to say that Zach won't have a red? That he won't get pushed up on by? Oh, it looks like U.S. U.S. South is eliminated from first. That's a red oh. knocking him out. So England now starting out with the top two. We get a top oh. two control by England. Yeah, and you know, obviously, you, no one can predict what's going to happen in Mario Kart. But that's exactly the start you would want to see if you're England trying to come up at the very last moment. Zach does get a TC though. Does, isn't able to pass it. And that's going to be England. I, I mean, they have first place. That's something, but it's not going to be enough, certainly, to win the to, to win the war. But at least having one three now, definitely, uh, and getting knocked out. Wait, what was that? I'm not sure what was that. What was? We're going to lap three though of Mario Circuit three. This is where things can get a little bit hairy. Mega does get used up by Xander. Another Mega gets pulled up by Back Kick. 
might be looking for a chain here. This shock is gonna tell the story of what happens. And here comes the shock. Mega does get used, and it's gonna be USA that's looking like coming up. Fred's gonna have to beware, but here comes the red. That's gonna take out Fred. One more red gets launched. Chi triple red to his own. But Sanders it's a, wait, wait, top three, three for them? We got top three right now coming for England as they're going out to the finish line. No way! There's no, no, fuck, this is no way! No top way! Three is that enough? Is, England is that enough? Is that enough? Top three by itself is 37 points. The results of the fi final two racers might matter. We'll see what happens. Where did that fourth spot finish for Team England? If they're able to reverse it and bring it back in the last race on Mario Circuit Three, if if they get if they get if if they get anything but eight nine or eight ten, England wins. England wins. They have top three. Eight nine would mean getting a, a forty. Oh, it's and a tie. It's, it's a tie. I think it's a tie. I think it's straight up a tie. 40 to 21 means a 90. Yeah, that's a tie. That's a tie. To... We're going to overtime. That's straight We're up what it is. We're a tiebreaker in game one of the grand finals. No way. I mean, I've got... No, I'm scrolling. No, I can't. No. I'm going to the Discord chat. I I, I have to see it yo, to believe it. Yo, Bracket, right, yo. Yeah, yo. Wait, no, no, no. Zach is contesting that bagger points might be wrong, though. Zach is contesting that bagger points might be wrong and that they win by two. We might <laughs> potential uh, in game uh, one. Are I, you kidding me? I, 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 <laughs> are I, you kidding me, guy? No way. No way they just did that. No way they just did no that to them in the last they race. They turn to Mario Circuit 3 and it pays off. Unbelievable. I I think wait, are bagger points six six on stream? I, I don't know. Uh, I will let the people working this do what they gotta do. Um, we're gonna get results in soon. There are people on this staff that are doing that. That that their jobs are to ensure that we have the correct score here, and as casters that are just watching this with you, we'll just we'll just let them do their thing. I I also just wanna I think this is just a time to to say this for everyone in the chat. Bagger points matter. <laughs> yeah, I, I will I will tune in right. I will cut you out guys off real quick. We were just looking at the stream real quick to double check the points to make sure that this did result in an England win by two. The table that we have running in here did show bagger points as five to seven in Sam's favor. The final bagger score was six to six, meaning that England takes match one by two points. Yeah. Wow. 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 All right. Thank you, Emil. Appreciate it. That is incredible because at the very end, it like what even happened? Like what it, it the shock happens. Back kick has a mega going towards the fine the 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 u-turn bends towards the end but he gets interrupted he gets starred and his chain in seventh rewarding him for all that trouble ripple reds and england have i think a dodge maybe two somehow they end up get, being able to rid the rest of the u.s south members at the top of the pack somehow being able to rid them of their positions and they hold on for dear life i mean we saw third place england they don't. They are. They, they. They don't have shrooms. They don't have an ability to speed up. But no one behind them is able to catch up. No one behind them had shrooms. And top three ends up being able to secure at least. You know, we were wondering what was happening in the back, what might happen. But Sam actually getting ninth place there is what was the final dagger. If he gets tenth there, it's a tie match. We go to a tiebreaker. So yeah. all the things coming together. For England, all the things, and I mean, to, we we they England historically has struggled with their backs against the wall against Japan. They showed that that is not a concern they have about their play. And in this first match, on the last on the last race of the of match one, they sure it surely as hell ain't something on their mind. And Zach, I'm I'm curious for what you think about all of this. I'm curious what you think from U.S. South's perspective going into this match, too. Because that ain't easy. That losing in this kind of manner, and especially the bagger points. Like, bagger points and it being wrong, you know, like, and realizing that after the fact. How does that feel for U.S. South? 
before I even get to that, any sure. doubt that Team England can't bring it back has been erased. I, I think we can just say that right now. Any mm. any any directive that you know it's like it's just like any other year, Team England, you know, when they're when their back is against the wall, they don't they don't have the depth to be able to er erase a deficit like that. It's gone. You saw it with your own two eyes on MC3. And I don't I don't even know how to how to fathom what I just saw, but that was absolutely sensational. Yeah. Insane. I don't have there's there's not enough words to even describe what we just saw. Um but going off on that, you know, going into match two, if if you're USA South, I mean, you're definitely you're definitely taking a hit, right? You're anyone that you never want to lose to the bagger point. The, the one bagger point that pushes them over the edge to secure match one is, is a tough showing. It's a tough feeling to have. But at the end of the day, these are, you know, world stage players. They're top of the line. They are division one, some of the best players that you can, you can field in Mario Kart. They've, they've seen it all before, and I'm sure that this isn't the first time this has happened. So they're definitely going to have the, the mental fortitude to be able to just, you know, it, it happened. It sucks. It is what it is, but we got to push it back to game two and force a game three. Absolutely. And we'll see if we're able to get to that game three. But before all that, of course, if you're enjoying the action, please support the channel and support however you can. If you can spread the word of the stream, that'd be phenomenal. If you have an, like an Amazon account just sitting at passively and you're not doing anything with that Prime sub, please bust it out. Use it here for Mario Kart Central Wii would be much appreciated but for now we're gonna go to a quick two minute break we gotta get our systems ready for whatever this match two could be so stay stay tuned and we'll be back with an incredible match two coming up us south england do not go away Welcome back, everybody. We are getting our match two started very shortly, just from the the two point deficit spectacle that we just saw. Going into game two, wow! I, the expectations are set, but I think for U.S. South in particular, for honestly for me, I'm really wondering what their response is going to be. They were they showed they had resilience against U.S. North. But now their backs are against their wall 
and it's one to zero against them. And on a in a set that they they were just one step away from victory. It it'll be tough to see if they aren't able to respond here, but it's DK Mountain. And we'll see, we'll see what, yeah, what the response is. Back kick is starting off in first to get things started and underway here for match two of the grand finals of the Mario Kart World Cup. Yeah, and right off the get-go, I expect nothing less to see USA South just pull out all the stops here and just do whatever they can to force this into a game three. And, you know, DK Mountain right off the get-go, you know, a track we didn't even see last match has come out here. And Fred right now, triple reds in fifth, is going to pull them out, going to launch one, is going to find a connection, moves up down. That's going to move top two right now into England. They have completely eviscerated any front run presence that USA does have. And now it's a top three instead on the reverse side for Team England. Yeah, we'll see if they're able to convert here. It's top two. And obviously, on DK Mountain, it can be held at this lead. It's pretty hard to penetrate after it's been lost. But we'll see if any shocks are able to be used. Of course, baggers are able to just pull up. Like, if you're, if you're England, if you're fear, you just kind of use this uh, use you the fact that you have a lead that the, the fact that you don't need to push for shock and you just sit there those boxes before it and make sure that if us south wants to get a shock it'll be in ninth place it'll be with a 7.5 percent chance of getting it instead of 20 but that being said what happened to england there in first place I, I don't know but they get knocked out yeah i'm not sure i, th I thought it was i think it was xander in first for a second yeah. there and then he yeah. just kind of disappeared so now fred's overtaken first and I, I think Zach might have got hit up as well, so I think it's just Fred right now occupying first for Team England. It's Fred alone, and I think England having 6-7 here. It's a mixture of players in the in the cannon for lap three. Nothing to be used here. And Fred chilling, doing fine. Oh, Ooh. but they don't stop their wheelie in time. They're going to lose time, and it's going to be Macy now in first place. So. Very fortunate for them. We'll see if they get a green off. No, not quite just in time. Does have a in shroom, there. but are you able to take it tight enough? Oh. Not quite. It's England in 2-3, but it's surely going to be a first place to end things off here. The red, they're able to avoid. The bill, they will be able to pass up on them. And England end up, I think, wait, who was in the bill there? That was Chi, so that was 2-3-4 two, three, three, for three, teaming. Okay. Yeah, okay. So a decent enough uh, start. England's going to get the, the race win. They could have held on to first. But it's surely still fine enough for them to be able to escape with with victory on their hands. Definitely a little bit a little bit choppy, uh, a little bit of a small mistake there. Did cost them first, but ultimately will not cost them the race. So mm -hmm. it is going to be up just a little bit, and that'll be good for establishing a little bit of uh, of a lead to start it off. Two, three, four, or so eight, nine as well. So we'll find I really, small padding. I'm really curious because you, you did call out Xander kind of getting messed up in first i would love to know what happened to him because i i i it could have just been like um i don't think it was a part of the course that it could have been a rock but maybe it was um but i do know that xander has had so much experience at playing at a top level and i have so much respect in the world for him and i know that at this stage he can still be performing but but i know those nerves can get to him here and here and there so i'm curious to see if how he reacts. I mean, they have a match win on their shoulders. Uh, and so they have a, yeah, they, they have a little bit of an advantage. They have a little bit of breathing room, but still not coming up quite as he'd like to there in that situation will mean that, uh, yeah, just a slight race win. On the other hand, it could have been a lot worse. Macy with the greens that she had, if, if she was able to land them on the bridge, which w could have very well been done. They could have been one or two England members being hit. They could be easily knocked by the races behind them off the track. Like it could have been so much worse, actually. So, oh um, yeah, just just the idea of having triple greens at that spot is just enough to send a little bit of a fear inside you. And right. Right there, BC Wee is going to be looked at early on in this match instead of late in match one. So, you know, right off, and we'll see what they have in store for us as. You know, last, last time we saw this track was nothing short of interesting. So. Yeah, we'll see if it's all contained in that lap one, too. Bad Cake is going to start off in fourth place, and now in third, not able to get maybe the chance at triple shrooms that he would have liked to get, but does have a green in a very great position, doesn't get the angle that he might have wanted. 
It's it's my, I, think it, I think it claimed one of his teammates behind him, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when, when yeah, you don't get the angle as you like. It's going oh. in. Ooh. That fable on the half five claims one. That's gonna send one back. Back kick, third place. Red second. Red now first. Oh, but back kick is getting shoved right off the track and forth. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. They Ooh. they kind of were like, oh, I have a second place. This is kind of nice. And now Fred, what is? What? Make, uh, make it two. <laughs> one more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. That. Uh. Yeah. We didn't see anything, folks. We actually like. We actually straight up hallucinated on stream. I'm sorry about that. Might be you guys. Uh, Mega in fourth for back cake, and it's at least chaos in lap one. We'll see if it, it chills out any further. But England with a really, really strong start. This is looking rather concerning here for US South as they, I mean, coming off that match one where they d lose at the last second, and now with the maybe a potential deficit being faced. To this degree, a top three off the bat is something you do, you do not need. This is also a dangerous top three because each one of them is respectively way further ahead than the next. Yeah. So even if you catch third, there's two still like 50 meters away, and then the, the first another 100 meters away. So I mean, even when right. you catch up to that next spot, there's always a bigger fish, right? Yeah, and, and I mean like, shock's gonna be like could be huge here. It could, but like. We see on the mini-map, those two Funkies going back are right next to each other. It's Sam that's winning that duel in 10th place. And given that they just respawn, they can't, they can't have really anything, I think. Do they both decide to go over in the, uh, over the bridge? It looks like that is the case, but one's going to make it back easy. I don't think Shock is had. I don't think we're going to see a dodge here at the very end. I don't think we're going to see US South come up at the very last second with some kind of miracles. Unless, unless something big here happens in 9th place for USA South, doesn't seem like that's the case. England's going to be able to take a top three to end off the second race in match two after they pull off a massive upset on, on the last race of the last match. And things are looking dangerous. Shock does come oh. out the last second. I think it's an England shock. Yup. Fred is all the way in eighth place, but oh, maybe yeah. he can do something. Yeah, Fred, I don't know. Fred's literally just vibing. There is nothing <laughs> yeah. that Shock is doing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's top three, eight for England. And what a magical start for them. There is a saying of "it's coming home" that has been said for decades now for the for for the for the English football team in the World Cup. It hasn't happened for them yet, but maybe it can happen for them here in the Mario Kart Wii World Cup. It's it's a huge race for Cheese Alexander, top three for them, Fred and eighth, and a great start for for the British side. Yeah, and that was that was the start I think they were looking for. You know, the, the two, three, four, pretty good. Top three, I think the chef is finally in the kitchen. And yeah. yeah, now they're really starting to cook up something hot and we're gonna see if they can continue that cooking coming on to the end the uh the ending off of GP1. Yeah. No, absolutely. And for and for US South, I'm sure they're looking to try to get their act together and maybe get a track pick going their way. I I forget whose track pick that was for BC Wee. Um I do know USA had like one five, so it surely couldn't have been them, I think. But yeah, we'll see if USA South is able to get their track pick going their way this time. Opting for Peach Gardens, a better reset track. Um, and it's not gonna go that, it's gonna be Maple Treeway. So another track going in England's favor. The last time this was picked, it was top two, it's seven, eight it was the spots that England had. This time top three. And for US South, you're hoping you get in the instant triple shrooms in fourth, the instant golden. But this beginning is gonna be really important here uh, for seeing how this pans out. Definitely, you know, Friday also being able to, you're already in eighth, though getting the hop into that cut for an item is never a bad thing. Unfortunately, gets the golden, so he's just gonna burn it right away. Mm -hmm. But still a pretty good start all in all. Lots of uh, spots getting mixed up early on in the, uh, in the top spots. So. Xander going right into that red is going to make a, a beautiful star off and it's going to move him into fourth and right now it's still all about England in these top spots back kick fourth place with a pow can do some damage here this could be pretty dangerous if used correctly we'll get the pow uh, off but I think it was a little bit early on the trigger I so that's the thing like pow can be so powerful in this track but 
similar to the kind of the push pull of like, do I do this versus do I do that? Holding onto a pal in fourth place for this, like a, maybe a more optimal spot, maybe around this tree trunk. You don't know if that's like guaranteed, right? Like obviously it would be cool to pile them off here, but you don't know if you're able to hold on to that without people shooting up. So back eight decides to use it. Doesn't really get the most leverage out of it, but maybe it maybe wasn't a bad position anyway. Um, so both are players here, six, seven with dodges, but they, they can't be letting up for too much longer. Although the pack isn't too spread out, would you say? No, I, I'd say it's still pretty good. You know, it's one of those things where it's still pretty tight that anything can really change the pace of it. May it be, you know, a blue shell bomb snipe, even of course the, the infamous shock. But mm -hmm. I think there's still lots of room to uh, to gain any sort of lead for both these teams. And, you know, you see Fred and Six holding a star, back kick and five now with the mega. So dodge is coming from both sides of the uh, of the coin. England in top three, I believe, still. Macy, back kick, and four or five for US South. Both baggers were sitting at this exact items box that they're pushing up onto right now for the longest time. Nothing has changed from that. Pow's gonna force back kick and Macy into their megas, but Shock does come out. It gets England out of that star. Who was in the star behind them? I can't quite tell, but US South finally have a ticket into these top two spots, seemingly out of nowhere, seemingly with England in top spots the entire race. US South at the very last second is able to get something going. Blue Shell coming in. Macy, go Shell. wide, please, okay? Is able to go wide just barely enough. It's top two for USA South, and maybe that's not a top three. Maybe that's not everything they need to get back into everything right now, but that's surely a good start. And maybe, correct me if I'm wrong, top two, four, five? That's what it's looking like. Top two, four, five. Looks like that's what's on the menu. And it looks like wow. USA has found their way back in. Wow. Okay. So uh, this is a race we this is a race we haven't seen as much. This this stands out as, absolutely as the definitive big race of the match. We haven't had these big point swings, but that shock being so, so, so huge on Sam Spart. As he's been able to show up so well for this side. I and I I'm I'm really interested. I'm really interested if the shock was intentional, if it was last second, because we saw the pal come out before, right? It forced Macy, it forced back kick into into their megas early on. But it almost felt like kind of after after that set that they that they used their their megas that like the shock was obtained kind of near then honestly. But I we could be wrong. It's hard to tell sometimes. But either way, a great shock usage on their part. A great job done by USA South to like, even though that England had top three, it's, it's as you said before, the pack was tight the whole way around. They didn't lose ground. They didn't get messed up by items too much and they stayed their ground. And it, that's what enabled their comeback at the end. That's just it. And you know, that's that's all it takes. Just one play to just change the entire, the entire story of the race. And we saw that right there. You know, we saw Fred go into the star early, chained up the pow, use the pow to force the megas out. But then USA just completely shifts the entire the entire story of the race by going into their megas, calling the shock, getting Fred out, which was the biggest piece of why that shock was so so useful. And then they were able to just turn the tides, make it top three, and finish it off strong with a top two, four, five. And that's why it's uh, it's a one point game right now. One point game, just like that. It really just does happen out of nowhere sometimes in the World Cup. Uh, and it, it gets it to be a little unpredictable. Coach Factory, though, a little bit more predictable. What we'll see here, the baggers sitting at the first item set, maybe driving backwards to the lake to to at least get rid of bullet bills. Although, correct me if I'm wrong, I think Sam is one to, to one to be down to go for the backwards draw on TF that we don't see all too often. I could be wrong. Um, but, so we could see a bit of a change up in the way uh, how baggers play it, but USA getting a great start here. Triple reds though from Fred, looking to disrupt things. Yeah, Fred really just trying to try to start and make a story for himself. Comes out early one with chaining up the star with triple reds, and now he's found himself in second. So, really breaking into that top three is exactly what Team England need right now. Yeah, it's unfortunately I think the only spot they have up here with England actually maybe having second and fourth actually. But There's a blue shell. They're coming for revise Ooh. too, so that's going to shift it. That's going to put Fred into that first place spot right now. Not having to ward off Macy. Does have a shroom though, so he's going to have to ward them off. Maybe even place banana up top and gets bumped into the red conveyor belt, sending them backwards a bit and make them lose some ground here. 
Thanks. He shouldn't have any items to be able to attack on that. There's a blue shell, though. Another blue shell. That's two in a row for for England, I believe. So very opportunistic, very fortunate for them, and it's going to result in a top two and maybe fourth for England going into this lap three. We don't see a clear indication of who has shock either. So it's it's hard to tell if this one is going. But TF, when you have top two, it's very easy to hold on to that lead. Yeah, definitely. It's going to back the red there. And doesn't find any still top two being controlled by team england and it's looking it's looking pretty good right now for uh for the for the british as yep. redback won't find any pal coming out but doesn't gonna isn't gonna mess up any of the top two really praying for this last second shot if you're team usa and shot, here it, it does comes come. it does Asking come. shall receive once again back kick dodging up with the is gonna change up the truth yeah. and that's all it's that she's gonna be wrote as back kick is going to be able to just completely play it cleanly with a very nice, simple mega dodge. We'll claim him that plus 15. And more than anything else, like I don't give a, I don't give a damn about what happens b before, you know, after the spots. I know that England has two, two, three. I don't know what after that. But what was key there is just getting that plus 15, getting that one person in a top three spot, top two spot even. So, so, so important that shock, even if that's all the shock did, it was important. Very heads up play, very heads up play on Xander and on England's parts and not go for that, to, for the Shroomless. Uh, that at least secures them those two, three spots, but USA able to use that shock well gets one four out of it. Yeah. And that's that's definitely, you, you're going to take that. With UK controlling you know, top two for the majority of that race, and you're coming out of that with a one four is, is completely money in the bank right now. If uh, Fury... USA supporter, that's definitely what you want to see from the boys and turning it back, you know, forcing forcing their hand and keeping it close when, you know, you get the one point. Now it's a tied game, 122 apiece for both countries. Xander has been playing this game for eons. He's been in a World Cup final since 2015. He's never gotten the win. He has one, he is eight races away from being able to win this. I don't know when, like, Macy and Bad Cake and Casper have started playing, but they haven't. They just simply haven't gotten to this level. They simply haven't gotten to it ever. They they do have a chance at being able to come back and beat them. And if they do in this second game, I I don't know what what the I don't know how Xander might react. I don't know how England would react because it it historically it hasn't been great, but. It's a tie game here, and there's still plenty of room. This is the point in the match where it's still you're still breathing a bit. It's a tie, it's 122 to 122. Uh, it, you know, you're in that portion of the war where like, oh yeah, if we make some mistakes, there's always like four more races to come. But this is where you might start be, be seeing a point of deviation uh, from these two teams. It'll be Coconut Mall to start things off here. Careful for that banana, almost, almost Nick's back kick there at the in first place, but he's able to hold on for an American side that's looking for a response. Yeah, and a pretty nicely placed man, a heads up to be able to get around that. But now USA controlling up top two early on and Coconut Mall, but Fred not too far behind is going to be able to really put some pressure on USA. Unfortunately, not going to get the chain. Their revise comes up too. That's going to make it a top three currently for Team USA. Green Shell does get launched, but isn't going to find anyone. Oh, but oh, finally finds God. the connection on the smart bounce. Big it, shot from Fred. It clamors for connection at that very moment, and it gets it. And it's at least, if nothing else, just top two for US South, I think. But there's a lot of players coming up in that shortcut. It's very, very rare to see people take their shortcut and actually gain multiple spots from it on lap two on Coconut Mall. That's not something that's typical, but the pack is tight. The fib is even tighter. It doesn't quite land, and may but maybe this bomb will. It does have hopes and dreams. We'll see if it ends up. I'm not, I'm not sure. Probably that that might have been a little bit. Little <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we love to see the attempts. You kind of dream of it every time, but it's it's not what's going to be optimal for them. Oh, England in that build though. They decide to use it and take it from their teammate. I think that kind of indicates they don't have shock. So maybe let's watch out for. Yep, USA South. I think going to be used here. It catches them in the shortcut, and that's a star dodge for US South. What a, yeah, that, that shock was crazy. That did exactly what they were wanting to do. A couple of target shocks, you know, not like directly getting them off the track, but definitely slowing them down while also dodging in a star is 
huge coming out. Back kick right now. Fifth place item. Let's gonna hit a box here. Last chance to maybe try and make something. Zach gonna get TC'd up. Macy occupying in front with the revise also. And looking like it's gonna be a 2 3 4, maybe a 1 3 4 coming out for USA. Yeah, Xander, were, I, my, my question is for Xander. Xander, were you able to clutch it? Because it was so close with him and Revise. I don't think he was able to, but either way, like, he's the only position there. And if he's able to get first, it somewhat nullifies this race. But if it does, if he doesn't, then US South gets a little bit of the margins they need to, to get things going and makes that trap pick selection even more, all the more advantageous. We'll see. Yep. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what ends up happening i forget whose track pick this was do you remember who ended up picking it oh i don't i yeah. want to say it was usa but revise yeah. does secure up that first place sander is going to have to sell for a second so a 134 race coming out from usa south and that's gonna break the tie and push them over just a little bit by 11. oh dang 11 yeah one i mean i guess that that does make sense 134 is it pretty solid race for for a team but as we've seen just recently it, there have been point swings as of late we've decided i guess the teams have decided to let the gloves off a little bit you know and there's been flourishing here and there what most notably these packs have just been so so tight in comparison to like especially the first eight races um so we'll see uh, we'll see uh the first race eight races of match one so we'll see if if there if that continues to be the case DK Summit is the pick for US South. It will, uh, I guess, play to some amount of, yeah, maybe finding some comfort there. Um, but 134 is surely good to allow, uh, like, second place, to, to basically allow them to choke out second place, make sure that they aren't able to take double easily. You have first being able to back spam double, third and fourth being able to rush into him. So it really creates this, this tough spot for them. And they will get the track pick. So that's certainly what they're looking to do here. Definitely. And if there's one thing I've really noticed so far in this match, too, in comparison to lap one, is players feel a lot more disciplined in this one. They're not trying to do a, lo a lot more, you know, crazy plays. They're really trying to keep yeah. the pack tight, really minimize the, the potential mistakes that they're making. And that's why we're seeing a lot tighter packs in, uh, in regards to the first match. That's not a draft I see very often, but it's so quick. A back kick job well done on them to be able to get out to the start there. It's so important for, for, for them to be able to do that. And having a red to hold out as well, like, Pip does come close, doesn't quite land. But he has the space to be able to go for double, uh, very comfortably so. And it, it, it lets the, the rest of the team basically box out and, and, and taking double as well. So very, very comfortable lead for Bakke here off, off the back of a, a great draft he got. Definitely. And really just optimizing it completely. He's going to be able to just be able to run it for the most part, already having a, a small little lead off that so he's gonna get a little bit of cushion he gets to chill for a little bit as the uh, the rest of usa will try to catch up to him and pick up the, the remainder of the pieces but right now chi is gonna look to try and get a little bit closer to him triple reds pulled out by uh fred so i tried to look for something there but triple greens are right next to him he's gonna have to be careful but no he just kind of forgets that like yeah, the player right around him at Triple Greens, as soon as he kind of asked him, he was like, oh, well, that was funny and nice, and now I'm just going to go for double very cleanly and safely, but doesn't quite get that. Has a start in seventh, but now is pretty far back from the pack at this point. So Fred's ways of getting back into this one are looking rather complicated. Back kick gets shocked, but onto the boost pad just to retain a little bit of the momentum in their favor. Otherwise, it would have been really, uh, they would have lost a lot of the lead they have. It's still a big lead for them in first place, but... Let's focus here on what is going to happen on back kick here, because Fred's rather far behind. Goes for the double, and in a spot where you don't have to, but is going to land it. So more certainly is able to do th things to hold on. Has first place after lap one, has it after three laps. We'll see if anything's able to change in the back here as well, but it looks like USA is able to hold on to top. Is that a top three? That is a top three. Your eyes are not deceiving you. USA has came out once again. And they're going to extend this league. They're not even going to give Eng England the chance to try and come back and make a push like they did on MC3. The, the bigger the bigger the margin, the better is what USA South has their eyes on. And that's what we're seeing right here. And you reminded me. You reminded me that USA South, you know, the lead was like marginal, but they were having the lead consistently throughout the war. It was really until that last end of it that they were letting up on it. But they're, they're saying to not let up 
for anything right now. It's top three, eight for them. Top three, eight, nine. It's a 19 point race win. I know that now because of, of the MC3 results. Um, and it's what? Yeah, they, building up. They're, they're, they're trying to balloon this lead into as big of, as possible to not even chance any comeback, as you said. That's it. You cannot lose if it's mathematically impossible for them to win. So, you know, <laughs> it's a beautiful thing, isn't it? <laughs> That's it. That's it. I, I, you know, I, I have obsessed. Like, I, I really, when I tell you I love this game, it means that, like, my love for math came from doing, like, times table. My, my first love for math was doing times table in preschool and trying to be the quickest one at it. And my second love for it was calculating how quickly the results are for 61 points. Um, and, you know, the 61 points that are total after a 10 player race match. Uh, like, and these players, like, I know they're counting the points. They're updating that bot every time. They're making sure that they have the momentum that we don't quite have here. Because I think there's going to be a race DC or a player DC. So we're going to get a reset, unfortunately. But rest assured that these, these teams are definitely, like, warring over every single point that they're getting. And US South surely feeling some relief over the 30-point lead they have now. Definitely. And they've, they've found themselves a nice little margin here. And, you know, plus 30 is definitely yo. a pretty good cushion. Yo, yo, yo. You know what Xander was talking about before the match in terms of, like, what they were looking to... They were, they were looking forward to in their roster today? What's that? Uh, depth. That's and specifically, it. Specifically depth in the bagging department. Jazz is subbing in. They made the call to sub in Jazz in the middle of the war. And they're saying, yeah, let's change it up. Let's change it up right now. They're not even waiting till the last match. They see that 30-point deficit, and they're choosing to use a DC on it. What are your thoughts on that move, Zex? If there is a time to sub in Jazz and take Fear out, this is the time to do it. You're, you, you're just, this is like the biggest deficit we've seen in this entire set so far. And looking to take your eyes off of fear and more onto Jazz, I don't think there's going to be a better opportunity than to do it right now. Because the statement they're trying to make is, we don't want this to go three. We want this over as soon as possible. And I think I think that's definitely what we're hearing from Team England. And that's what they're trying to they're trying to say. So I think this is a good this is a good chance to uh, to put in Jazz to really try and salvage what you have so far. And you're only down 30. You are still not out of this game. Literally. All you need is one race, and it could be tied just like that. Yeah, literally, like, you have that. And even from the perspective of, like, the next match, if it happens, like, this gives Jazz, like, it makes sure that he's, he doesn't just jump into a war with no warm-up, you know, and going against someone who's had all the warm-up in the world. And now you put in someone who's refreshed, who hasn't played for the last, you know, hour and a half. They, they, they're ready and they're motivated seeing them, their team go down. And for USA South, you know, it's got to be a little bit of a worry. So, well, obviously, Sam has showed up to the plate throughout this entire finals. He is, isn't looking to slow down and, and honestly just looks to be such an incredible bagger that I wouldn't be able to tell you who the clear victor is going to be. But it certainly seems that England is deciding to respond. They're deciding to say, hey, we want a little bit more of a chip on our shoulders here. We want to respond to what's happening in the back with Jazz, who goes down goes down in the books for one of the greatest modern day baggers and one of the greatest baggers of all time for sure. Yeah. And what what a sub to have in the back pocket, right? right. You, know, <laughs> you're, you, you, you know, something's not going well in the back and you're like, well, what do we, who do we look at now? And you're looking at Jazz. I mean, I, I'm I'm pretty happy if that's my sub that I'm looking at for uh, for the bagger position. Yeah, and like, talk. We've also like that's the thing about like bagging in general. It plays such a pivotal role, and the shocks we've seen that have like launched USA into the lead that they have. Like they've been pivotal. Like Maple Maple Treeway, uh, I recall. Wait, actually, that might have been an English song. Never mind. Scratch that. But the shocks that USA has gotten have been crucial um and like even even like toad's factory for example in a race where england should have been able to get away uh get away with a top two completely nullifying that getting them into a one four and we've seen that happen time and time again u.s south like really not only just getting shocks but being very effective in them which is not something you see from every world cup team in, in the slightest definitely 
And like, and especially with USA South, you know, they're they're here to play. You know, they lost match one in probably the, the one of the most least favorable ways you could probably think of, uh, which goes down to the bagger point. Comes down, and now they're playing in game two. They're playing with that that sense of urgency. They're like, if we lose, this is it. So they're really trying to just take it to three and try and reverse sweep Team England to be able to, to take the World Cup once again. But yeah, that's that's kind of what we're looking at right now. And yeah. with uh, with Jazz coming in, I I think we're going to be in for something special. And and I also think this is, I mean, yeah, one way or another, we are in for something special. I also think, for what it's worth, Jazz has played at this level for a long, long time. But it's a lot of an axe to come into a match with, you know, however many viewers we have. I know it's a it's a it's a it's a scary amount to be racing Mario Kart Wii too. Um, and you're asking him to come in the middle of this moment for England and, and step up to a plate in a matter that, like, all eyes will see you. It's a big ask. And he's been on the stage for a while. I am curious to see just how he responds to it all, you know, and what the performance will look like in lieu of it all. I, but while we wait for our players to get into this room, I think we have seven waiting on it. It takes a little longer because now uh, the teams have to reconnect in the order of the positions that the last race ended off in. All that said, um, yeah, no, this has been, shoot, I had a point and I forgot where I was going with it. <laughs> I, you know, I, as much as I love the World Cup and, and commentating, sometimes your throat takes a beating and sometimes you're just like, you know, struggling through it. So let me, let me take a sip of water really quick um, and, and rest up. Um, but yeah, like we're going into this one with, oh my God, like I, I, I really do feel like England is in such a great position, and if they end up winning this second match, or sorry, if they end up winning like this, this, these next few races, I feel like they're in such a good spot to really overtake U.S. South, even just on like mental, you know. And I also, I also don't want this to be like any uh, anything towards like fear, like oh, fear's not getting it done, or he's just simply not good enough. Fear has come out, and he's had an absolutely incredible World Cup, nothing short of excellent nothing short of you know surprising as well because a lot of people weren't really sure about fear at the start of the world cup he was a big question mark he came in and he bagged in the i want to say it was the japan match where england went against japan and he put on an absolute clinic he you know he he, he shocked the the absolute living heck out of the uh the opposing bagger for team japan i i'm blanking on the name, roast 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 ro roast i think it was roast actually and yeah. you know he did he had a great match and they they won i think it was pretty convincingly too and yeah. you know fear had a great one there and there's no surprise that team england looked to fear when they were coming into this match and it's uh it's no surprise to to see him get the first nod for the game and now that he's being you know taken out for jazz it's no scoff towards him. He had a yeah. great. He was able to take a set. Like he took the first game. So yeah, yeah. No, really. Hats hats off to hats off to fear, and like, yeah. You mentioned the last uh, the last set against uh, Japan, which was an incredible match, and also offered like swings. It was a it was a three game three match set that like had the biggest wins that I've ever seen in a three game set. You know. So they won very commandingly. They responded very commandingly. And we'll see if this response will be tantamount to that. But I think we have all their players in the room, so we should be getting started soon. I, I, uh, well, that's actually not the right player, maybe. But I think they're now getting they're getting started as they're in the correct position. So we'll be seeing the action come back very, very shortly. But we still have half the match to go. U.S. South having a 30-point lead. A sub-in of England's greatest bagger of all time and now a chance to respond even just the the minutes break physically for your fingers uh, and for mentally for you know yeah just being able to have that break let's see how that changes things up maybe here for england or if it doesn't change anything at all and us south continue because sam has been performing so well and is able to maybe continue it on a track like rainbow road this is it and you know sam's gotten hot he's been already doing it he's been already you know over a match and he's been doing this you know, what are we, seven races? So almost 18 races, 19 at this point. You know, he is, he's hot and ready. He's absolutely, 
been doing uh, a great job in this one. And we're going to see if they can continue that. Rainbow Road is more of a sitting track towards the baggers, but it's definitely more front run centric as that's going to be where you want to be looking towards is the front of the pack on a track like this. Yeah. And they pick it for good re yeah, pick it for good reason, especially because of the beginning here. It's so easy in the middle pack and bottom spot to get knocked off. USA, as long as they hold on to their top three here, they'll be fine. They'll be dropped off immediately. And I think that's still at least the top two being held for them. No, it's Xander right behind him. No, both of the USA members getting knocked off behind back again with an unfortunate little jump there on his part. I think he's going to lose first place, but careful for the lag here. <gasps> both of them go for the jump. Patrick, did you make it? I don't think you did. I don't and think so. England top two out of that alone. Wow, what a start there. And, and a series of unfortunate events. I, you would have liked to see Backkick take a little bit of a cleaner jump there. And if he did, Xander wouldn't have been as close to him. He would have had an easier time getting the, the trick boost to take that wheelie in the shortcut and the distance from Xander. So yeah, just everything going wrong for US, start the, uh, US South starting there off, off the get-go. And to even add to it, we now have Fred in first holding a shroom. Oh yeah. <laughs> he, wow. he also he also has a shroom in first, just absolutely chilling in the most ideal place you could possibly be on Rainbow Road. Yeah. So, I mean, regardless of whatever is happening at the back here, quite a quite a change up happening here for between the positions of last race and what's happening now us south and four five and a shock coming in already which meaning that a bagger went would just add the ability to just get the 30 second shock probably in ninth like yeah wow it and, is a great start for the england and who else to do it but jazz right 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 <laughs> <laughs> It, it just, it really tells you, you know, especially on a track like a Rainbow Road where more often than, than not, teams feel so familiar with just not having shocks at all now, generally in, in competitive, because it is just so, it's no one's going to generally go for it, but they get the job done. Mega does come out. Triple Red's also the option here for back kick, but of course, it's going to be uh, not, uh, they're, they, this mini map lead cannot that be talked enough about. Like, what is this? Break is just un unattainable. You cannot even catch that. No matter. You you I don't even think you can catch that if you pull like triple blue shells or something like that. Like, just absolutely insane how far away Team England's top three is from the rest of the map. Yeah, top three at the very least. I think fourth place. I think it was revised. Fell off when uh, fell off on towards the shortcut there. So it is going to be a massive race in the first race of Jazz is here on is able to dodge the blue shell thankfully would have been so bad if they weren't able to get away with that but it's USA at least in four or five to finish that off and we have a tie game here tie game in score at least or at least somewhere close to it I think USA South might have a little bit of a lead maybe five to ten points based on where this last player for England is going to end up in but we have a very close game now and I mean, courses, course picks always matter, but now, especially now with the top three and not top three and seven, it is all lies on England and how they respond. And that's what I was saying before they subbed in jazz. All you need is one race. And now the team England is only down eight from down 30 before Rainbow Road. Absolutely insane to, to really just get your first race with, with jazz. Jazz comes in and makes an absolute statement of himself with that shock. And now Team Team England has life. They're back in it, and it's back to this whole neck-and-neck neck teeter-totter thing we were seeing before. Man. Man, I, I love I loved the view from here, don't you, Zex? I don't know. This is just pretty sick. It's pretty sick to be... Like, not only has this World Cup provided, like, a really cool format that, like may have had some things that need, need to be looked at but by and far just like such great match quality and that has just never let up it hasn't let up in the finals here at all we have such swings and momentum and i mean we've never been able to predict mario kart way since since it came out but especially now more than a decade after it's come out it's going to be moonview highway for england's pick here and what an incredible pick for, to get their track pick is huge i will say eyes on lag we've seen moonview highway disrupt 
not go according to a team's plans so often in, in this World Cup, and especially in this bracket stage, but it's England's track pick, and historically they've done good on their picks. We'll see what they do with what they do here. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm, I'm watching the, the items to start flying, coming up to these two bomb yeah. cars coming up here, because once those, if items start flying, bombs are going to start exploding. Oh my god, okay, the banana lands on back kick too, and I was looking for the draft. The draft seemed to have gone back kick's way. If, if he literally is on that draft for like 0.5 seconds less than that more, he is actually able to draft up in the first, avoid that banana entirely, and it's him, like now it's USA 345, from the beginning alone, they have to catch up onto this England side. It's going to be harder to do that on Moonview Highway. Might, maybe not, though. Back kick right now, sitting in fifth place, holding a gold. He is going to be able to catch up relatively pretty quickly with the help of this. My oh, no! Oh, my God! Oh, no! And just like you were saying before, how things just don't go the way they're planned, a yellow car says hello to back kick. And it's gonna nullify that gold and putting him back in seven. And it's not just him, it's revised too. He also gets messed up to it. Thankfully for USA South, they have one member that they can rely on right now. It's Casper. Casper, the player that they subbed in for this match in particular, and he's showing up big for them because I'm pretty sure. Knock on wood. I'm pretty sure that England have the spots behind first place, but Blue Shell does come out. He's getting knocked out as soon as we talk about that, and it's England all day up here on lap three. The absolute caster curse in its full effect. New shot comes out, and now we're looking at Fred right now, sitting in first. Back kick trying to salvage anything by trying to get back up there from that yellow car, but not going to be working for him to no, no avail, unfortunately. Still sitting in first, moves around the fib, so. And, and he's just spamming items right now. He There is no regard, there, and he's getting nothing to really advance him up these boost paths. Nothing can. It's USA South that don't have a shock and seemingly don't have a dream here. They have six, eight, and all the bottom spots, or mid spots at least. England with another big race, it seems like, after after subbing in, down 30 points, I think they're gonna be tied. I, I just straight up, they're gonna think they're gonna be tied at this point. Just, wow. <laughs> every, every race I watch, I get more and more mind blown about what is happening. It's just like this is Mario Kart to its full potential. This is this is absolutely absurd for what is happening in a lot of these races. And England won three. Hey, wait, 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 hold on. England won. Okay, England won three. Okay. No, you know what? If you're if you're U.S. South and you get two, four, five out of that situation, that actually wasn't going according to what 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 I had in mind at all. It's they maintained the the lead they have. It wasn't as wasn't as shocking of a win, but it's still a, a solid race for England. It still keeps them in it, and they're looking to build on this now. I, two, four, five. Well, would you, I, I would say those are pretty neutral, and in fact, USA South would have maybe track pick advantage. Yeah, I would say so as well. One, three, there's only so many tracks that you can think of that really, that really benefit one, three, uh, but there's more tracks that really benefit two, four, five. So yeah. USA definitely is going to have the, the advantage here with try, wanting to figure out what they want to pick here. It looks like they're leaning towards that DC3 angle as DDR is being looked at on the other side. Well, DDR, come, yeah, DDR is going to be the one to come out here for England. And they get their pick. They get it again. Um, it didn't go as successfully as it could have. And especially... Yeah, USA South had such a strong start, and seemingly after Caster cursing them into oblivion, it seemed like England would have, a, would have such a great moment for them, but they weren't able to convert it on that track that this time around. They get another track pick to go their way, and we'll see if they're able to, uh, to, to make sure that it, it goes their way, with Fred starting off in first here, and looking to build some support and, some, and sustain some energy here in these top spots. Definitely, and also joining him as well. So we see top two for Team England right at the at the moment, but there's also an ultra shortcut on this track, so that might not stay as long as you'd like. Eyes on back kick here, I think. Uh, just eyes on on USA's back line because you watch up the slash flag here. If you you have top two and you're England's third spot, I would be prioritizing the hell out of being able to stop whatever items I have. They get Casper right before the cut, which is nice. Okay, back kick is able to make the ultra now, and it's Macy and back kick being able to move up. Not as optimal maybe as he would like, but it's still enough to get them in the third. If, uh, as soon as oh, I say that. Maybe less than that, in fact, as he's going to stay in the stand just a little bit. Unfortunately, taking a, taking a wrong date to go to the beach. 
as Green is coming up, getting launched, trying to find Zach, but will not find him. Looking at Fred, second place, looking pretty good. Still top two for Team England. Red shells are getting launched, but they have of course. I don't think Shock has had yet. Uh, someone just fell off in last place with Shock. I mean, it might be the now 10th place holding it, but Blue Shell is going to go out. It's England in top two. It will no longer be that at all. It's Jazz in last place as well. I think he might be holding on to it, or if he doesn't, he doesn't have it right now. He will soon get it. But England still have the advantage here at the top, at least it seems. First place for them. Back kick in sixth place and rather a far distance oh. away. Target Pow does come in, though. A little bit dangerous, but the Fred actually plays it really well. It's going to get around. Zach comes up in the Mega, making it top two right now for Team England. So still sitting pretty strong as we're winding down to this last section coming up on Dry Dry Ruins. Still top two. At the back, we see back kick. Eighth place, nothing in disposal. And looking top like three. a top three coming out for Team England as wow. Xander shoots up right at the end. And that's going to make it three. What? And wow. Now it's looking like Team England is going to be controlling the uh, the lead here. Wow. Turn of event. It's as soon as that Jazz sub happens, it, it just things start coming together. And we can't tell if if Jazz got Shalk in lap three, but it's very possible he got it before and was holding. Who knows? Either way, it's the racers that are able to, from England's part, that are able to hang on top there it's fred and zach turning up fred zach and xander turning up at the exact moment they needed to and now a vic a, a lead for them yeah just a great lead they they really just brought it back once again team england comes out swinging on ddr and finally gets the race that they were looking for on that track and now they're plus nine into into match two this could potentially be the uh the, the match point if they're able to continuously keep it up and end this one off on a high note. But if there's one thing that we've seen in both these matches, it's that no team should be counted out. Not at all. You literally can't. Like, you can't afford to. Like, it, there's and there's too much evidence to show why he exactly shouldn't, especially from this war, too, where we went into it thinking, okay, yeah, you really are going to hold on to every single point as if it was your, you know, last life here it's it's been like oh yeah let's uh, we lost by 20 no problem let's just reverse it right back on the next next set so it is it is quite there there is no lead to be held on to at this point sure england have been winning the last three races but they like as was the case going into it as was when we were talking to xander there is no understate underestimating this team at all and especially on peach garden is a track that can truly change the tides in favor of us south that's just it and no lead is safe on a track like this with that opening shortcut right off the gate too. So that top three will slowly diminish or pretty quickly diminish if that, as we're definitely be seeing a bunch of people dropping at first set looking for shrooms most likely. Dropping indeed. It's back kick in last place, very content to hold it and will be happy to just play that role of person who just holds the bottom spot and make sure that you get the first box. Does get it, it's a golden. So it won't be any dogs they can hold on to, but it's enough. And it's enough to at least keep him and USA South in six, seven positions, which are pretty solid positions, especially if the gap doesn't grow to be too much further from where we are right now. Never a bad spot to be. Triple Shrooms does get pulled off, so might either hold them for a cut or might try to burn them here. Looking like he's going to be opting to hold them. Red's coming back, though. One's going to clip off back hit. That'll force a Shroom usage. Make it two. Make yeah. it two. Gonna hold one just uh, just for safekeeping, but that's all they're gonna be is not that. Horizon first. No shroom here for Fred. The red shell is coming out at a rather bad moment for for being able to dodge backspin, but it won't clip him in time. Is that Xander in second or first? I can't quite tell. But if you, it may be in fourth or third at least. So a lot of contestion happening up here. Yeah, and, and we also see Backache holding on to that blue shell as well. Mm. So yeah, USA, USA in first, surely, uh, and, and unfortunate for Batcake is in a prime has been in the in the position of their life to be able to get the items needed to come back. The gap isn't that big from them to first place, but no, is gonna have to hold on to it for the better of their team. And now, England have triple shrooms and a person who can't use any items at all on their favor. Is Xander taking the cut here as well? Yes, he is. So it's all of a sudden it's england in two three usa the snipe oh, is big wow job well done on his part 
Casper comes up in the star as well, so that drops him in the fourth just ahead of Fred. Fred hitting a box in five, triple shrooms again, so we'll help him catch back up to the rest of the pack. But this last set here is going to be key with what happens. Revised Dragon of Fib. My perfect drop is play. Go right perfect play. Wow, the perfect play coming in to swerve them, the presence. But Fred still has a TC able to come back, maybe. England in five, six. It's not very great spots at all. USA, do you have the response here that you needed? It's possible. It's possible depending on what happened up there, but a great play from Revise to have the presence of mind to call out, hey, you need to go right. I know I'm on the right side right now, but I'm going to change up on them because I see that they don't see this coming. I'm going to drift into them with this fib and absolutely end their life. Revise, what a play. What a play. He forced out the hand too of Fred. Fred had nowhere to go. He was absolutely stuck between him and that fib. And at that point, you force out the, the last shroom and isn't going to be able to find any chain on that last set. And now top, and then top two four is coming out from USA. Wow. So An they do absolute it. fantastic race coming from the Americans. Because it, it because it happens at a moment where Zex, if if I pulled you off off stream, and if I were to ask you honestly for your feelings at that moment, like not not being in front of a camera or like in front of all these people, not having to like you know mess with it, we would I I I would say that like. It feels like U.S. South is choking it here. It feels like U.S. South can't respond right now. For the last three races, they haven't been able to form a single response of a race. This is a with with to do it with two races left to go to just a, a sigh of relief for this team. Yeah, they they were, they were getting what they were hoping for, and this might be a bit of a take, but I'm gonna say, debatably, top two four is probably one of the best spots you can start in for most tracks. Mm -hmm. Okay, let him cook. <laughs> I mean, a, lot, a lot of tracks really benefit top two four and it's also just a safe spot to be in because that third spot is always going to be starting wide yeah no absolutely it looks like they're gonna go warriors gold mine maybe with with that in mind and they get it usl get another track pick to their advantage so zex we are two races left of course england can flip this can be this can be the last two races we see in the mario kart world cup this year what we did we skipped it last year we said we needed a break we these players needed a break but they came back more hungry this time usa south they've been they have not been the ones to be expected to win in any situation of any bracket match but they are driving at least a little bit closer to what seems like victory and maybe a match three england though are needing to jump into this top two that usa has started to build off on from the get-go just 20 seconds in yeah and right off the get-go, we saw a bomb, didn't look like it claimed anybody. We're only, we're only four points from both of these teams in the dying ends of the of match two. And there's, it it's, could go, honestly, either way. Fred right now, second place, shrooms up, and it's going to actually get beaten up. Top three right now is being held by the Americans. Make it top four. four. Casper shrooming top up four. as well. Yeah, that's and that, war is goldmine. It is. I mean, we've talked about some tracks being tough to catch up on, but Warriors Goldmine in particular. TC is dropped back, it lands perfectly on Fred. She doesn't have anything, I think. No, he does, he has oh, a Mega and activates it at the last second. Will a shot come into play? Bill just land, ended, but I think it was for Xander. Shock oh. just come out, but does there it, yeah, goes. it dodges yeah. the Daisy on the minimap, and that's a big shock on Jazz's part. That is absolutely key. That needed to happen. The USA was running away too much with this, and you know, that shock is right. It's keep telling them right now that Jazz is still around and he's not going anywhere. Pow does get dropped off. It's going to be used. TC yeah, as well it. on Zach. So unfortunate uh, for England. Yeah. Yeah. And it's all, all they have. But Backkick actually ends up taking it. He uses the star very comfortably. It kind of too comfortably in my opinion. I mean, there's a blue shell that now can might be come out unless he gets bumped. Actually, the bump saved him from getting starred. And I think... I mean, who's in first? It's got to be. It's got to be. It's England. I'm wow. pretty sure it's England because yeah, they, do yeah. they dodged that Daisy on the on lap two. So uh, they are so, still yeah, controlled yeah, yeah. first. And there's a big lead coming from that Daisy, so they can launch it right, and it shouldn't even. It should maybe go for second. Sixth place right now, while Backhead gonna hit a box in seventh, yeah. looking for shrooms. Finds out triples. It's gonna spam, but doesn't look like it's gonna find. Zach, what happened to you? Zach, what happened to you? Oh, Zach, what Zach happened to you? Gone. Zach is off. I think he got back. I don't know what happened. He, he might have run into a banana. He might have gone back spam, but I don't know what happened. But he, USA going from two, three, five, six to maybe two, three, four, five. I think so. I think that's a one bottom three coming hold up. The Team phone, England. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Oh my God. Okay. Wow. If that's it, like, 
I, 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 I do not know what to say. They England got the shock, but and they dodged them slap too, but it's just not enough. USA win that by 11, 11. And Zach, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if we can handle what. They're going to try and do it again. Let's see what England has in their bag of tricks. This one, as once again, down by a similar amount going into the last race. Are they going to look at MC3 again? That's the big question here. And can they do it again? You know, you know where we were the race 11 to last year, though? What, what kind of hopes and dreams and expectations that a certain side might have had in, in race 11 the last war, though? You know? Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, we were, we've, we've seen this story very recently. And we've seen an ending that if, if it goes the same way, England take home the World Cup for the first I, time ever. I still haven't healed from the first match. Sherbet <laughs> Land gets picked out of the two tracks this is the most probable to make something big happen here out of this one and waluigi stadium we are going to be in for a race of all time uh yeah zach i have a question for you is it is it is it coming home <laughs> i don't even i i don't even <laughs> I, I, I can't you can't predict this it's impossible to predict an outcome of this kind of of this kind of stage of this kind of caliber back kick almost falling off there but is gonna keep himself on this time so it's, it's gonna be chewing him up it is it is the it is the last it, it is maybe the last moment usa is out have here they have to hold on in a way that they weren't able to for game one and it's on sherbet land a track that is so unpredictable at times it's a mini map that is not very spread out at all though and back kick will have I was going to say the advantage of getting a decent box. Xander steals it, though, with triple reds, too. He's going to force England into 3-4. And they have... Back kick has this moment here. And do you decide to use this room? Do you decide to hold it? Is Looks it like you don't have a choice with the pow cover, so... We'll get powered into. Single red does get placed into the uh, the inventory, but might not find too much out of it just now. Moves in the fourth, though. Uh, the does come out. Blue Shell does come out. Moves Fred in the first just for the meantime, though. Macy also comes up as well as Revise. So, top two. Holy green shells, though. How? Oh, and Blue Shell, you saw that? She gets hit for the fifth. It might be two of them. It might be two of them getting knocked. Careful. Uh, okay. He does, okay. He does get knocked out, but it's it, Macy that's able to get into first place at least and maybe hold on, but we'll have to do so against Fred here, who is by themselves. However, Hacking does get a blue shell. It's going to be able to protect them for a bit, but at the cost of being able to catch it as well. So it's USA, I believe. Oh, he finds the fifth! Okay. Fine. The next up third. Friends oh, next. wow. Okay, yeah. But TC had? Did it do the classic? Mm, no, not okay. Okay, okay. So USA having majority top spots here. I mean, it's red and second, but like. They, they are they holding they blue, too. It looks like. Going into this last set, it's back getting knocked out. USA is in a commanding position here to be able to finish things off here. Macy, if you just finish it here, but There's no! Blue coming off. Back it gets knocked out back before. Back it goes to Chuck, comes in! They cancel the blue! No way, they canceled it, but I won't call. Is, it, is that who's going to Back it goes to the bill, though. Back That's it. Up. That's, That's it. We're going to match three. USA going is going to, to secure. Three. USA is going to force a game three wow. against England. Wow. All right. All right. Run away right, the whole the We got a stream, y'all. We got a stream. What? What? Oh. What? What a what a way to hold on. I'm sorry. I we, I didn't have the words. I don't. Uh, we just simply did not have. I did not know how to function in the face of USA pulling it together, pulling it together seemingly at the last moment, and and with a shock that like that blue shell. It was so unfortunate too, right for back kick because he just got knocked out in the eighth. Losing that blue shell he'd been holding for the entire race. And in the 10, 15 seconds that England could have gotten the blue shell, they did. But Sam responded so highly. Sam came prepared at the moment he needed to for his team against Jazz, who has been responding so well to his play. And he clutched the living hell out of it. My God, that cancels the blue that, like, came at a moment that England, when you... When you get a blue in that situation, just seconds away from the finish, seconds after you knocked out the blue out of the other team, you think, okay, God, we got it, guys. We did it. We're good. We're able to move up into top spots, but they are shell-shocked into a match three. Wow.
And just how absolutely insane was it that after lose after Backhack loses the blue, he hits a box in eighth, gets the bill, and then dodges up just after that to secure off top two for USA to send it to three. Yeah. <laughs> it well, wow. And, and you know, we I just was as hyped for that last race because like yes, that was a lead they had, but like we 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 were hurt from that match one. We didn't know how to have faith. But they, they're showing us how to. Macy and Backcake popping off in the triple digits, but a relatively close affair from all their individuals alone. Um, but man, the Jazz doing work in that in that in that substitution. But US South are able to after the first three races that kind of shock their senses, they pull it all together. And yeah, in terms of a race three and what to expect, no idea. Just like no idea at all what uh, how this could pan out, but. Both of these teams having players that have not been in the, I mean, the USA South especially not having been in the finals and then especially getting to a game three here, it's going to get to players' mentals. And I think that's what we're going to see a difference in, you know, going into, the, into this match three after you've had those sweaty fingers, you have that mental after three hours of Mario Kart or two hours, sorry. Like, I don't know. It, it's going to be hectic. This set, and we haven't even seen game three, right? We've only seen yeah. games one and two. We've seen both teams take one. This set has at least taken five years off my life. <laughs> <laughs> literally though, like literally, I, I I might as well be dead at this point. I like... am I'm I'm actually I'm not playing and I'm stressed out. Yeah. <laughs> I am I am sweating my absolute mind off watching both these teams just duke it out, like just completely go absolutely off the walls, and it's been nothing short of incredible by both of these teams the, the display that we've seen this is this is top tier mario kart at its absolute finest well guys uh if you've been enjoying the action so far my my god like what 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 else can this can this tournament be doing for you you know we've we've been at mario kart central we has brought the heat I, I would like to think you agree, and if you agree, then maybe consider using a Prime sub while we, while you can to support the channel, support everything the team's doing. Shout out to Bios for producing this. Shout out to the entire team for making this happen. And we have just one more game from the World Cup that we have to present to you. We'll come back to all this in the action. I think it'd be good to maybe take a break, you know, after two hours of casting, get a little bit of water in the system, but get your snacks, y'all. Get ready, get to, get cozy. Let's Let's get cozy for this match three that's coming up here. Um, and we'll be back with more action to come. Stay tuned.
Welcome back, everyone. Well, what what can be what can be said about the last match other than uh, skin crawly and jump out of cedary and uh, yeah, it's it's been everything. And I think we already have the last ten players or the, the ten players in the room and for the last match here. So we'll be getting started very shortly. But um, yeah, uh, trying to think of the thoughts to be had for this match three and. Obviously, now we have a full match with, with Jazz in the lineup. It'll be interesting to see how that changes things. But as we saw in the last year races of match two, it didn't. It actually, I mean, yeah, it showed some impact at the beginning. But if anything, it indicated Sam has bite right, right back in him. So, Zex, it's hard to call this one. I know it is. But I guess looking out for keys from both teams as we've seen them or think bullet points on on the performances we've seen from both sides where would you even start this is one of those situations where you have to just let the set speak for itself mm -hmm. it's it's kind of like you can't it's one of those things it's so hard to break down because it's been so back and forth and neither team is what feels like outperforming the other this is a fighting tooth and nail kind of situation and whatever team comes out on top is honestly going to kind of just just deserve it you know like yeah. they're they're giving their all they're they're playing they're not playing with desperation but they're playing with urgency and i think that's the important thing to to note down when watching both of these teams yeah they really are and they are going to try their damnedest to beat the call of a match three and in england it is i mean what time 10 Maybe 1130, we'll see. Uh, but it is getting late there. And for all these players, it's been, you know, at this point, like a lot of Mario Kart. And having to hold out, this is where you really start seeing, I mean, I, I know it's a little bit corny, but bear with me. Real, like, le legends in the game come out at this, at this point. People that show that they have the clutch factor in them, like, after this much gaming, after this much, after this much video gaming, and with people at this kind of level of play, to be able to show up and, and whether it's the fib that you hold out and swerve into the player from the other side of the track because you just spot the moment and you you, you don't doubt it um or it's the, the phenomenal individual performances you see across the board it's it's gonna start somewhere and it's gotta be it's gotta be starting here as we start match three on the same on, on the, same, the same one we just saw recently sherbet land and uh, England starting off things here with a red in six. It's not going to be the best, but they got their hopes set on bringing this, bringing this World Cup title home. Yeah, and that, that's kind of what they're trying to do. They're trying to do it for what, what, what's the, what would be the first time for yeah. Team England. And they're, they're really trying to, to get that final push to be able to secure it, finally to bring it home for them. But the only thing that stands in their way is the Americans, the, the country that has done it over and over and over again. You yeah. really get this whole David versus Goliath kind of spiel a little bit. I would argue it's, I mean, honestly, as someone that has felt that David and Goliath perspective a lot, it's been harder to access that feeling because this USA self was just, their, their, their result is just so unexpected too. So it's like, yes, Americans would win again, but these are not, these are not the Americans we've seen in these past World Cup roster wins. Like, and then they, and they just haven't been, it hasn't been close even. So like to see this kind of team pull it out against England, it, it makes sense. There's a huge player base in America, but England has shown time and time again, they have what it takes to hang around with the best. And they surely are showing it right in front of us right now. One, three, four to start, uh, at least. And, and oh, the bomb oh, snipe is a bomb huge- from downtown on bad kick. And that is going to be exactly what they need to land themselves to do a top three and the target shock. It maybe might not have been intentional, but it still gets USA done good. And England is in the driver's seat, so, as it seems. And bombs still flying once again. Fred finds another, just spams it right on back. No, no thought needed. Blue Shell getting launched up by bad kick. Wait, so that's that's Macy in second. A blue shell coming out for England. That's, that's just gonna mean one four for US South. It's not bad positions at all. And another oh. bomb here. Careful. All eyes between both streamers here. They uh, such crucial items. Can you land this bomb on the players behind you? Is it oh, gonna be your time? Fib. The fib lands on the friend. Bomb gets launched! Is he gonna land. find anybody? Shot coming in! Right up! 
the red, he noise. avoids it at the, at the last second. He avoids that red at the very end. Back kick sent into seventh place. And I see a, a decent amount of USA spots in the back here. I don't know. I don't know how this one ended up, but uh, what, what, what are you thinking? If you're cheering for England, I'm thinking it's looking pretty good for you. That was, wow. The absolute bomb snipe on back kick and then to follow it up by shocking him off the track is the perfect description of salt in the wound. Yeah. <laughs> wow. My, my okay. What a what a bombastic way to start things off. It's a two three four for England. They're gonna take the slight race win, and in a world where it definitely couldn't have turned out to be that way, it could could have turned out to not be that way. So, job well done. Hats off to them on Sherbet Land, of course. Uh, it was a very common pick coming from England here, but it seemed seemingly to be a favorite. I just want to know who threw that bomb. <laughs> you know, like I, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you know, whoever it is, we need to track their their pop. We need their stream link right now. That was that was if anyone was recording that, that was crazy. I hope that gets uploaded because that right. was nuts. Because it wasn't. That's the thing though. I think I think if I have if I remember it correctly, I don't. Because oftentimes at that turn, like the speed at which you have to throw that bomb to connect at that point, it's generally bouncing off the wall. It didn't even bounce off the wall. I think it just like landed straight up on top of him. That's that's the kind of level of bomb it was. It's, and that's that's S tier bombs right there. Uh, so yeah, hats off. It's and it's Koopa Cape and BC Wee being the picks here. BC Wee, of course, going to be edging the uh, England team is slightly in their favor uh, with two, three, four. But it's not as soon as we say it. Koopa Cape, USA South gets their pick. Another classic track we've seen many times already throughout this set. We're going to be seeing it once again with both teams look to try and push their lead even further or to to shift the tides to put the other team in the lead a scoop of cape is getting looked at here and what do you say what do you really say it's one of these things that just kind of speaks for itself it's gonna be i mean at least a slow start for usa's uh back kick here golden with some more behind him somehow he's able to avoid a thing well, he's gone in a position where i actually was doubting it for a second but not oh, maybe not. Oh, the maybe. red shell of destiny is still coming. <laughs> it still catches it. And, and another and one. Make it get, two. We didn't even get the alert for that one. It was that bad, y'all. It, it's England. Oh. Yeah, sure. In six, seven, but they send back cake to to where 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 they need him to be sent. Uh, seventh place in, in counting. But either way, don't have too much of a glimpse into the top spots right now. Of course, we can expect the we can expect that to change as the Koopa Cave. If the pack is big, then yeah, sure. But the pack is still relatively tight. We'll see a blue shell gained here for... Oh, and you didn't you, know, you didn't have to do that. Get, get red in with you had reds around you, but it looks like Fred will take oh some God. damage here. Is holding with that blue shell just barely. And I don't know. I mean, maybe he's happy to be a team player. If I'm him, I'm honestly like, damn, do I really have to hold this blue? I'm going to run into the star. But he, he faces no such temptation. And he's going to continue on his merry way while a bill for back kick and go. Uh, but it, this is... USA in 5-6, England in 7-8, we see. Thank you, Phil. Uh, so, relatively even from what we see up here, but from the fact that we see USA in, ahead of Bad Cake, I think England have top two. Yeah, it's looking good, and, you know, seeing uh, Fred hold that blue only gives you more hope to see to know that England is uh, repping him first. Red Shell gets chucked that Chi, and Super also is going to get chained up as well by back kick does find chi but won't find anything other than that and that's gonna move back kick in the fifth yeah yeah okay cool yeah back kick in fifth right now i thought oh, 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 he can't he cancels it perfect call by back kick and, perfect. I guess, I guess, <laughs> and it gets macy in the mega which will move her up a little bit but this gap is actually pretty significant from our two streamers here so we'll see if it has any effect on especially the three four had behind england's top two i mean maybe they were able to combine it with them getting uh into a boost pad seemingly if they're if they're in those spots at the moment but for now for what we have on our screens fred triple shrooms in six a significant amount to hold uh to be able to go on to fifth place so they're just gonna try to hold on to this here to end things off here but i think that's chi in six as well six seven for england here i got being activated what's happening i think england got first i think i saw zach in first so i think it was they at least got first Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a relatively balanced. Uh, I, match. Yeah, I, yeah. I think it was going to be. I think it's uh, just a big mix. I don't think it was uh, a clear win for either team. Well, uh, I, I'm sure they'll both take that to the bank. I think after the nerves that we've expended 
and lost um, in perspiration, it, it, they're willing to take a break from all of that for at least a little bit and just say, you know what, let's have some clean. Ooh. Good fun. But that said, USA do go, you know, 135. Oh, so 135, man. Yeah. yeah. And a plus five race win. They'll take it. You know, why not? Uh, and we're, we're here at a tie game. Yeah. Back at tie. Back at tie. So we're let's uh let's let's hope this uh <laughs> this continues on for the entire match and makes it neck and neck and takes off another five years of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at this point you're dying at like the, at, at this point I'll be I'll be dead by race seven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally. I mean, yeah, at this point I I don't have much hope for me either. Like I have a, you know, uh, I only have so much tolerance for for high matches. My my doc my doctor said my my cholesterol ain't looking good. So if if it's if it's here, if I have to go out here, it's fine. You know, I'll do it. It's fine for the for the favor of for the favor of Mario Kart Wii. Because we haven't, you know, honestly, for the World Cup final matches we have had, like it's it's just looked very like I think just historically relatively lopsided, right? Like le relatively, I think for the last uh, like the very first time these two teams faced off, I think it was a two win, and every every time since then, since they played in the bracket, USA has beaten them two zero. Um, so. It certainly a change of pace from what they're used to, and we'll see. We'll see if they keep this this fighting spirit up until the very end here. N64 BC, next race here, uh, and no drafts had between their two streamers, but still in good positions for a decent item box to land them up ahead of the pack. Triple shrooms for Fred to start things off. Yeah, and Fred's just gonna stream up away, gonna make it an early front run presence for Team England, looking like top three, even top four at that. Zach not too far behind, but is gonna have to try and deal with the rest of the uh, the Americans trying to get back into those top spots. Very nice backspam coming up from Xander. Heads up play by Fred to go wide so he doesn't get hit by any of it, and we'll just stream in the first. And very precisely so, right? I think sometimes when you make the call for teammates to go out wide or to take a particular turn, it's the preciseness of, of how close and still being able to take that turn as tightly as they can, making that call that shows just the level of play, like just little moments like that, you know? Um, Oh, that green coming awfully close and from it had to have been from downtown from USA because it certainly wasn't his team HG right behind him. But England have lost the top three that they initially had uh, to a top two now with USA advancing. So they're going to have to watch, maybe play their backspam in similar ways, make the call out right there. Does it land? Not quite, but still it's going to take plays like that to really, even if it doesn't land, it advertises taking the more the poorer lines, so, so to speak, the, the slower lines and builds that lead for England. Yeah, definitely. Bob coming up, though, off the wall from Zach. Actually, it might look like it might have. Oh, no, he didn't get it by himself. But it didn't look like it really claimed too many, but gold coming up from back kick. That's going to move back kick already up. But a single red from Chi. It ended. Mate, ended. <laughs> Mate, you could have ended it. And I think instead, they just. I don't know. I, I, He had a red, and you just saw a back kick gold inning, but I guess he just doesn't, he just doesn't want to pull the shooter. Uh, yeah, but, ooh, what, avoid that banana. Yeah. I. If England get away with the race, no, I was about to say, if England get away with the race win, maybe he won't have to think about that. But USA now all of a sudden two, three, four, and she in that in that in that position sent back. Um, no, no enforcement here for 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 his side, and, and it's all fried up here. Definitely, I don't know if that red was taken out by something else, but if you're holding that red, you gotta throw it. You gotta you gotta get back cake out of there. But. Blue Shell comes up, is going to take up Fred, is going to still maintain first. Oh, back kick. No, 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 back kicks, watch. The combo off the green. And, then, and again, oh, okay, that's just uh, that's just dirty at that point. Mar the Mario Kart Wii gods just having nothing to say for good for Fred. If we could get Fred's pers perspective again, because back kick is cruising here. Back kick lands a tight fib here. We'll see if anyone runs into it, but it's USA in 1-3-4. England 2-5. They need at least something more to, to even this race Bill. out. Bill does Here come comes in. Mega. Jeez, Bill lands him at the worst spot possible. It's going to be England 5-6. Yep, great race for USA. Ooh, if I'm back kick, I'm saying I want that two-for-one special claiming both shots onto Fred and then an easy plus 15 after the fact. Back kick comes out huge for Team USA South. Back cake is big and boisterous in his play as ever before as we've seen. I feel like I've seen him as a player, I think, struggle like very much like having experience for sure in wars. I think there are players on my list that I would say have can make better team plays, can play better in a war environment for the skill that they have. But back cake in this war has really shown up, especially so far. 
and is going to be able to land some crucial points for them and their side. And it's 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 USA South to start things off in a lead with 11 points, sizable enough. They'll be very satisfied with that. How do we end things off here on this so GP, so to speak? I can't predict anything anymore. I mean, I mean, even even in track picks. Okay, track picks. Like, what 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 even do we for USA South? What what might they consider here? Ah. Uh... Or uh, I think we're seeing a DK Summit at least yeah. coming. In, you know, makes makes some amount of sense, and it's been played to their comfort. It seemingly over over the last every single match, it's gone in their favor. So they'll get at least DK Summit. It's the right moment for them. Peach Gardens for England in the meantime, uh, for a little bit more of a reset effect. Can't argue with results, and USA has been consistently just fantastic on dk summit fortunately not going to get picked here might see it later on in the match full reset track coming from peach gardens is going to come out and it's going to force a little bit of uh, a little bit of bang from both squads on that first set all right england how will you end this uh the, the first four races here Unfortunately, it's going to be without an item to start things off here for Fred. An item box that's pr pretty important, one of the more important ones in the game. And in the meantime, USA jutting out to a top two lead here. Maybe even top three. Pretty good pull from back, eh? Coming off that single stream in second. It's going to give him a little bit of options of what he wants to do with this. Most likely holding it for the cut lap, too. But definitely a, a strong item to have in the position are. It's like top three? For USA Maybe. right now, and if you're if you're like USA's bottom player, you you got to be stopping at that item set, trying to build artificially some distance uh, between the the top players, which are which is your team and the rest. And by and you can do that by slowing down, forcing them to slow down for better items that they surely need to be able to catch back up with. So Land. I mean that's their play book, but the pal does come out and it lands really well on Xander and Freddy. Yeah, that was a great pal. Definitely gonna slow them down quite a bit even help maybe build a little bit more of a lead for USA South in those top spots. Triple shrooms pulled by Fred once again. Another green shell is going to hone in on him, so going to stop him in his tracks just a bit. We'll go for one more chain. It's going to be a pow for Fred this time. Interesting. Okay. I I do wonder what, like, obviously their first thought has to be, okay, what do you have in, what do you have in third place? And is it worth me holding this pow? It, it apparently is. Red will come out for not oh, the chain it. Xander able to chain the mega. England able to pow time that pow to allow third place to be able to take the shortcut. That's a very clean way to get rid of any American presence in those middle spots. And surely maybe a way to catch up onto those top two spots. Curious to see what the perspective is from back kicks end. But uh, we did see a red go out for I think that's first place England. The shrooms are coming out for Fred. There's a decent spot to do it, but the deficit is is faced is a decent one up ahead. Pow coming in gets him before the turn doesn't mess him up too much zach is gonna finish off in first place here fred in fourth can't quite tell the one four otherwise. five one, one four, four five six. six yeah so okay england pick things back together pick things up put them back together and i think uh, even play even play it's an even ball game after after four races yeah and that's kind of just been the story of the entire set there's a lot of back and forth in one team never really having too big of a lead on the other, with the exception of that plus 30 that we saw last uh, in game two, but was ultimately pretty, uh, slashed in half by top three from Team England after the plus 30, so. The items certainly going up, like having fortuitous items England had is, is what happened towards that race. Uh, towards the beginning of lap three, you had the POW come out. Very perfect timing, ensure that Ensure that USA wouldn't be able to maybe take a shortcut up top. Just barely ensure that their Shroom in third would be able to get off and not get affected by the POW. And the mega pull for Xander being absolutely huge. Just very well. They got the they got the great items, but they also pulled it off cleanly. You see a lot of teams that in that situation, when it comes to very precise usage of, of a POW in that moment, they they flub it sometimes. And it's not it's not uncommon. Um just the timing sometimes even the lag of a call can really affect things or you know if if there's like a if sometimes like a mic will cut out even just like really randomly even just for the worst moment possible and it could make people just question them the decision they need to make so like yeah
great execution on England's part too there. Um, and, and that's and that's like just all like great because we weren't really sure coming up to that pow what he was gonna do coming up to that set, uh, and we weren't sure if Fred was gonna have to hold it or if it was just gonna be uh, we'll see what happens kind of thing. But they really had all the answers to it. They had you know the Shroomin third from from uh, Zach. Then they also had Xander going into the Mega, and then they just they executed it perfectly. And then they also got the red off on Revise immediately after the pound. Yeah, it and it just it just worked to a T. I I think this is USA South uh, pick DK Mountain. I, I think it's, it's a strong, it's been a strong prepper for the members at least outside of the group, uh, outside of the World Cup, and we've seen it picked by them in the past. And someone's injured off that to the side. I missed who that was, but either way. Rather, uh, rather settled start here for Fred in England, starting off in 1-3. Zachary able to avoid the red. No, not quite able to, though. So Casper is able to overtake and revise, trimming up from behind. Macy able to move, move up as well. Things are looking pretty good for this American side. Yeah, looking like a pretty good uh, start off on DK Mountain so far. The top three right now coming from Team USA. Fred hot on the trail, though, only with triple Nana, so... Might not be able to do too, too much with these just yet. Does have a POW in five once again, and we have seen how detrimental POWs can be on a track like this. Yeah, no, absolutely. Red, oh, Chaos is doing happening for Fred with his head, as it so often does on his turn. But it's still lap two for those looking for England to advance up from five, five, six. There's plenty of time, and for USA looking to hold on to. The grip they have on on these top four spots, still plenty of time for things to go their way and pushing up and maintaining this lead or flopping things, especially with a perfectly timed pow. But it will be Ooh. oh a little bit of oh flurry. that's a that's a little messy. That is unfortunate. It is. It also isn't the worst thing actually. The alternative in that situation, I wonder if Freddy even meant that slightly intentionally, and that they they were having a poor turn, getting mega there, and maybe being able to like connect move into their shrooms would have been more effective than taking the wiser. Anyway, finds himself in eighth either way, and now it's all about the 1v1 happening up here. Back kick and Zach. Back kick, you're able to get rid of Zach here with its fit. But it's coming up. Do. The reds are coming, but they don't land. Has a has banana for at least the first red. and has the lines and the distance to be able to avoid the next red. So Zach able to hold up for now. Oh. The red comes Put the side! side. And and from Wow, and from who? I don't know. But it just from the distance, well, their players are the star, two stars to boot with it, get through so many members. It's Fred moving through at the very last minute. Can you get the draft for the speed? It doesn't matter. This is, and he knocks Macy to the, at the line and claims that spot at the very end there. So Fred able to come up huge. And wow, chaos, as it always tends to be on lap three of DK Mountain on that bridge. Macy does not able to hold on and England get that edge just a little bit further for that race down but not out uh, that's the best way you can say right now for for team england they come out and they fire out hard and they just completely put a, a dent in uh in what usa was trying to do and wow what a playoff fred getting the start and that's a top four too my god <laughs> my god well then after well, all well, of well. that top four team england on DK Mountain. On in, 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 insane. Insane that they got away with I didn't even know it was to that extent. You know, we didn't really have the greatest glimpse for because there was just so much chaos happening at the end, right? It, it, hard to track. Both our both our players getting sent to the bottom to the bottom spots, but somehow a star at the end just made for a flurry of me names sw swinging by us and all of a sudden England in top four. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Jazz in the most big of moments in in a way that we haven't seen it in this set a top four the first one for for this set at, at one of the most pivotal points to do it and so for them track pick of course going to really matter south hoping things to go their way and if it does then yeah they have a foot footway back into this with bc3 the you know being able to play from the back they get it and man did they need it this is there is no better time to get your track pick after going down to a top four and this is definitely a track pick that is going to shake up these top spots and will give USA South a way back in. But they're now down 25. This is the biggest lead I think England's had uh, all all set. So if they are able to extend this or hold on to it, that's what... Oh, but the big bomb! 
It's gonna okay. Take all right. It got Zach, it, but that is that is cushion. That is like actually really good because generally when you have top two, it's a lot easier to block the cut more readily and with multiple blocks. Now only having first, you can only do that once, and you can have a teammate get rid of it just like that. Casper able to off the backs of off the backs of that bomb, and it, it ultimately enables them taking shortcut and taking first. Yeah, back kick went for the streamless and didn't uh, fail himself, so it was going to be sent back for a while now, but. Red, fourth place, going to get the big slag off. That's going to take one of USA out, but it's going to find one himself. Casper going to stream up, unable to pass over the TC, so Fred is going to have to, unfortunately, take this. But Nearly avoided the thwomp there, by the way. Um, but yeah, is is going to get TC'd there and sent back into a bottom spot, just as Batcake has been in eighth place and by a lot. So this, as it tends to be on BC3, the gap is significant, but... We don't tend to see it to this extent, at least. Uh, Blue Shell is going to come out just before the TC goes out. So at least England having some foothold back in. But it is uh, looking pretty difficult for them at this point. Zach going to go for the cut, should make it. No distractions for, for him. So it seems like both of our streamers here having some, str some struggles getting up here. And we'll have maybe a tough glimpse into the top spots. But very important here for how USA South, if they're able to keep up in those top spots. Uh, and for back kick, to even just be able to advance up and to get sixth instead of eighth can mean a big difference here, especially when, you know, being able to respond to a top four with maybe top two and uh, top two, four, six, something like that. That would be huge. Also, I'm pretty sure we've seen like six TCs in like this race alone. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, yeah, uh, at, least, I'm at least. I'm pretty sure I've seen Thread, Fred pull three individual TCs. <laughs> And they're just there's like no way they can come back at this point. So we're kind of in the in the dark. But maybe maybe Backache is able to do things. Yeah, Backache at least it made uh, made ultra. So maybe we can look over there. But uh, they I think he has a a little bit of a hope. A red in seventh, and maybe seven, another no. TC. How fitting. Jesus. Okay. Oh yeah. my gosh. Well, they're gonna end up. Oh. Okay. Oh, one of US Ooh. fell off. So wait, was it US? Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. I guess. I guess U.S. Uh, what whatever happened there, they're gonna drop to eighth place off it, and that'll be it uh, for for this race at least. But yeah, it 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 it. it this is a point that's scary. I think for for U.S. South, they need to stop to stop the blood at this point, and so far they're only able to do it with a two three, which lands them into even sort of neutral race-ish, but at this point, we're, we're running out of time, right? Uh, that's that's after, uh, wait, is, the, is that lead current 30 points? Are you are you, are you serious? Ah. Uh, the math don't lie. All right, shoot. Yeah, like, wow. it, so just that, at the point that, I mean, it, it is a significant hill, you know, from here to be able to, to be able to, we haven't, ha I mean, I guess of this match of all matches, we've have had these swings happen like no other, right? Um, so it can happen, but at this point there really is, there's no potential races left. We have six races left. We're midway through and things start feeling a little bit different at this point, you know? Yeah, it does. And like we've we saw USA have the 30 point lead, but now it's completely shifted. Now we see England with the 30 point lead. And we were, were we were wondering earlier if uh, they were going to be able to hold hold a lead like this. And uh, USA brought it back, but now they have it once again. And we're going to see if this time if Team England can hold on for another another half the half the war to being able to try and take this home for the first time. It's going to be a TF to start things off. Back kick gets the draft. And he's going to be able to force themselves in the first place here. But it's right next to Xander and a bomb that says Sayonara. USA to start things off in bottom spots here. Yep. And that's definitely not the way you are looking to start off the race if you're back kick. Going right into first and getting you know green bombed immediately is going to be a tough call to send your stuff all the way back to seventh. But looking at Fred now, fifth place. Zach getting fib, so. Put him back. Chi getting back to him as well from Casper. 1-3 right now is being held Ooh. by England and might be looking to go into a top two if Fred can just barely Careful, edge him out. And the fib. Okay, okay. Oh, but it's going to clean Casper! Wait, what just happened? <laughs> Casper got hit by the green. Oh my goodness, okay, yeah. Okay, so that's... Wow, England 
they're in a position to blow this lead entirely apart and and make this what like if they keep this up few spots it's at least like a, a five point win they have all the time in the world they have jazz in the back who's gotten so many shocks they feel they're feeling themselves like as long as they get this back spam off and they just be able to continually build this oh. lead that pow being just in time if i i have no idea whose pow that is but if it's if it's uh no it's probably a uh, usa is but wow be being able to outplay that is really impressive on fred's part it doesn't get any closer than that to yeah. be honest that that's just that's like down to the millisecond he got in the air at the perfect time to be able to dodge that pow golden coming up here for that kick on lap three usa is in three four five but so far this is looking like it's going to be really tough for back kick and usa to to make something of an impact in this race alone. They're playing for change at this point. It's not anything that will get them in the lead or close up on this lead with six races to go. And it Here actually comes might the shock. be. It might be worse than that. We'll see who's coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Surely you would think it's England shock. It's England shock. They got two of us. That's going to be top three for us. Red coming out of Zach, Ready? though. Is that going to be able to survive? Yes. No, he's not. He's getting right on the line. Okay, so I I don't know if there was one mystery player. There's one mystery player at the line there. If it's not England, USA salvage. USA salvage the best they could have in that situation, even at the hands of an England shock on TF where they are or England is so comfortable. To be able to do that in that situation, I would be so fortunate for the USA South Bowl. We'll see. We'll, we'll see who that right mystery racer was. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Unfortunately for uh US South. Two of them got shocked right out of box uh, after boxes that last set. Top two five though is what we're seeing from Team England. So another strong race coming out from them to be able to just extend that lead even further. And even then, that could have been so much worse. Like like Chi, and even even like around around like there were triple reds at the end that could have been easily run into. Um, and Fred could have easily not gotten uh, as redded on the line. Um, so like it could have turned out so much worse for US South, but they hold on just barely and and managed to keep it together yes it's a 39 point lead but there's still five races left to go and 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 plenty of time and we've seen these point swings happen back and forth so again yeah it, it is not the race that us south wanted but they have a track pick maybe coming in their way in the form of a grubble volcano that could, that could really shake things up as we've already seen it and so this this track pick carrying importance because at this like at this point in the last two matches, we've been at a point where it's it's been a close game, and and it, we have we start having a gut feeling about who's uh, we, we we can't it's hard to have a gut feeling about who's going to win. Here, thirty nine points it's it's a lot. This track pick is going to matter so much earlier on in this match, and but it goes Warriors Goldmine. Yeah, so War Warriors Goldmine, and this is a great position to be in. For uh, for Team England, where you're controlling top spots, but you're also controlling some of the uh, the back spots as well to be able to go for that item off to the left side. So really, this is this is going to be all uh, all eyes on USA to try and get up to those top spots quickly and efficiently. Yeah, All right, starting off here in second place, England in very comfortable spots, being top two, able to call up accident, and if they do it as well as they've done, yep, they do it. They get the fib on the back kick, and, and yeah, simple it's, it's simple as threatening with double backs in any position, being able to call up things. Now, Revi is able to shroom up into top spot. Sorry, that's Casper coming up. Uh, seemingly, and on a really difficult turn to, to shroom on two, he's going to be able to get away with it. England in two, three, four, and with the TC now, things could TC start the to be turn, turn things into USA's favor, but it lands on a mace even with the triple shells. What a play. Honestly, Fred just absolutely just gamed pretty hard. Fred gets triple shrooms too, is gonna shroom up too. Might look to bump, bump off Casper off. Casper, I don't I don't I see him. So. I think so. Wow. The mileage you got from that to go to go from having a TC and oh, no, 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 Casper's right there. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Casper's lag is just insane. Great. Okay, cool. Um Casper being able to barely survive, but still a lot of mileage out of that tri those triple shrooms lands fred into first and we're seeing i don't know maybe we're still in a 1v1 i can't really tell i i think that might have been casper just got greened right there and that's what it's looking like because mm. i see revised and i see no nope, nope, there he is, nope, there he is. <laughs> all right cool sure uh still somehow in it all right well lap three is coming in bananas oh, are so bananas. devilish wow. so close it doesn't quite land 
but either way, Fred able to hold on another banana having so being placed on full aggression mode here. The pow does come in, forces a slowdown on Fred's part. Will it be enough? Will shock come in? He's slowing down. But no shock. That it, no, no shock seems to indicate that no one has shock. No one has it. Oh, well, there it comes. Just kidding. USA South may have dummied them into slowing down, doing it unpredictably. Maisie Bullet Dot is in the first and holds on oh, here. There's a blue. Wow. Here comes the blue. And, the, and being able to get someone with the green. Oh USA, God, can you? One three, one three at least, but it's one three four for USA South. It's a race win, but a huge blue coming in from England to stop the bleeding because it could have been top two four otherwise. I wonder though, I wonder, did you get a vision onto the fourth place person? Because that's where my mind is. That's that is what separates the decent races uh from the big races. Is just that last place. Where are they at? We saw three of four USA South members in the top four. But where was that last? Because if it's fifth, then it's a huge, huge race win by 20 something points. But if it's not, you know, it's it's like a five point race win. It's top two, four, five. It's top two, four, five. And that is going to be, I think, a 27 point race win for USA. 16 point deficit all of a sudden out of nowhere. Yeah. And that's just what we we're saying. Just one big race. And it just erases everything. And, you know, you were up 39. Now you've pretty much had a, a big race now and now you're looking down with the the lead literally slashed in half yeah okay okay yeah this is this is it this is it really really like this is i mean i know we've gotten a lot of mario kart, but this is this is peak this is this is peak mario kart right here four races left it's anyone's game you have the swings of a massive race coming in from this team that no one expected to be here this this late at the party um, let alone, yeah, yeah, this late of the party. And England, they're holding on. They have a lead. But with the tides that have that have swung and changed over the over the course of this match, like, it's so hard to break, predict. MC3 being the, the, the pick here. England saying, needing a little bit of a shakeup in terms of positions and spots and being able to maybe get items going in their favor. And they get it. They get it at this crucial point. So... MC3 to start off the last GP here. Yeah, and Zach, this is this is a key track pick as well. Yeah, yeah. It's Zex, I don't know how this is gonna go. I'm I'm holding on for dear life, and I hope all of y'all are as well. Last four races of the World Cup. Let's get it started. It's back, back kick and co looking for a way in. They need big races to continue, but it's gonna be hard to do this against a side that has been here too often and so often still did not come up with a World Cup win. Yep, and this is they're trying to erase all that pain from the past years to finally try and make it their moment here. Back kick, golden in sixth though. G Star is up. All of England is just trying to get to the front right now and try to really shake up those spots. Xander right now, eighth place as well. So a lot of uh, a lot of top spots are being held up by USA South. Yeah, and you'll have to be careful of letting too much ground here. That's what. Back Higgins cognizant of they're gonna go ahead and use to use the golden to get through both sand spots that they can get through and it's top three for USA South so really formidable start here but of course it is MC3 and the blue shell is coming out so plenty of time for England to be able to come up through the sand with stars with with golden maybe even have a bullet or two but shock will come in it's first set and it's gonna be England I think dodging in a mega and it's Xander to answer the call the prayer for England here, advancing up and making sure that this can't be that significant of a race win. If anything, 1-3 to start things off. Careful, back kick, because the the fate of USA South comeback might ride on your hands here. Oh, with the bomb! The bomb gets Fred, and it's after the it's after the line. Shock Dodgers, the, he had the golden, it's gone. Back kick is able to hold on the second. USA South somehow regained their spots in the 2-3-4 and 5, and somehow survive they somehow survived a situation where england they were bold with that call i think i think that was xander dodging and the mega had to be from their call and somehow are able to recover and i don't know i don't know if there's another world where maybe holding on to that shock and and calling it later in the game might have been better but usa south us they, they had top three that a call had to be made and and now it, it's somehow closer and closer and closer and I think that's a 13-point race win. Yep, three, 
three single points is all that holds these, holds these two teams apart. And that's what we were saying before. Also on the dodge, I believe also Chi dodged up, got himself in the third, but was redded immediately after. So USA played a big role in keeping Chi down to only limiting them to that first place position. And now with, with all that said and done, uh, England's plus 39 is now only plus three. That is crazy. That's a bar. That is such a bar to be had, like, especially in, like, this level. Oh, at this stage, dude, I literally can't, like, I literally can't deal with this. The impending horde attack they're giving me. Um, okay, uh, DDR, wait, did we not already? I'm, I'm, okay, maybe, yeah, I guess we haven't gone DDR and they're gonna get it. Um, yeah, I'm actually D surprised that we haven't seen DDR until now. Yeah, yeah, but you know what, it's, I'll, I'll really want to keep an eye, yeah, keep an eye on, on Backkick's perspective. Because from the last, like, the last, uh, the last two times we've seen, I've seen shaking this. We've seen Backkick around, like, the pillars kind of take some dodgy, like, score hops. Uh, so I'm curious to see how they get the good start off here. They have started off in first year previously. They have it in second before. But it's clean. It's clean on Backkick's part. And are they avoid, able to avoid the green as the next question? They yeah, are absolutely not. Xander gets him with the green. He is going to run for the hills. And that's big on their part. They're getting rid of at least one USA member. There is not that much. No way. Okay. That would have been I was like, if that hits, I'm <laughs> screaming. I, I'm <laughs> actually going to go nuts. <laughs> but golden in fourth place for England and top four. The red oh. is the, not going to go. The great connect. escape. The great escape. The great escape. And the great ultra to boot with it. England is looking really good right now. Wow. What a play by Fred. That that red shell was just the, the red shell of it death. Wanted to, it really and, wanted it so bad. And Mega coming out here for back kick right ahead of him. So this great play on England's part on the Q's part. But just the awareness of my MV. Understand, look, I'm in the position I am. I have a great opportunity to triple red and just absolutely abuse the other team. It, it, with the spots and the items I can get, even with the T so it can slow them down and, and be able to put some pressure on them, make them make some mistakes, maybe situations that would otherwise wouldn't have. But it does go down to the TC, I believe. And now USA have some footing. I think Macy at least able to take the shortcut, but it's back kick now taking the ultra and okay, back kick. This okay. is your ultra. Next, next to that bullet oh. bill, next to that dodge from Macy's part. They pulled those dodges up. Oh my god. Okay, I'll keep an eye on Fred here because it's gonna be Macy pushing up onto a top spot or a better spot here. It's gonna be first place for them. And and now USA, like if they're able to hold on to first alone, they're saved. They're saved from being able to go into the last races here with a significant deficit. What could have been a top three is a pal coming out. I don't think it messes up Macy, no. So at least the first place up here, but what is it back to the back kick with a shroom? Can you get third place? The answer is yes. The red, the shell isn't in time. England only holding on for two, four, and USA, I think, going to be able to take the slight race win in a place where they faced a top three, a deficit by minus 15, suddenly turned around. The, absolutely, that that lead that England had absolutely gone, eviscerated. It's been it's been taken by the government. It's, I don't know, it's just, it's out of here, and now it's just, it's a whole new ball game. Back, U.S. South going to be able to reclaim the lead once again to force uh, England into a very similar... Dude, uh, no way. But 1-3-5 no coming out for USA South, and that's, that's going to put them in the lead by two points with two races remaining in Game 3 of this best of three for the World Cup. It, like, it, regardless of where it goes, it's, like, hats off to both these teams. Like, what, what, a, what a performance, really, like, in the, in the minutia of play and in the most, the, the biggest magnitude moments. You have, like, yeah, the shock going in USA's favor and they pull it off uh, with a correctly timed dodge, which, Macy, I don't even know how she got up there with the bill. That's so impressive to, to have been in, I think it was like fourth place or something like that, that they were able to activate the bill in. So being able to do that, uh, incredible, incredible on, on their, on, on her part. And it, whether it's in those big moments or in the minutia of being able to outplay one another and, you know, even just like out moving the another, the other person out guessing where you might be back swimming them. It, the play has been so back and forth between all of it. So it's, it, 
BC Wee is going to be where we go in this next roller coaster ride. Um, we, uh, I last time we saw BC Wee, we didn't see much use of the glitch. I wonder if that changes, but I just can't shake this thought. Like I just had this thought, and it's just it, it, it shook me up, Zach. Like I really don't didn't think that in a tournament with talents like. I don't know, like all the talent that we have here. And for US South, in the driver's seat, two races left to go. Like, this is not the lineup that we thought was gonna win the World Cup. And they're this close to being able to do a bomb and the shells shaking things up for sure. But it is what's able to slow down England from those top spots. Definitely, but we still have top two right now being occupied by England, oh. Zach and Fred. Both up top, Fred, a little bit scary there, but is going to be able to still maintain second for now. Nothing, nothing to block cut, nothing to block, block glitch with. That thing doesn't land it though. So it's not going to be, I, I don't think another American was able to go for it. So England doing a great job to be able to get the start that they needed on this one and on their track pick as well. Definitely. Pauk, though, right here coming out for back kick. This could be dangerous if he decides to hold and tries to get England's top two over that, uh, that section later on. But shot coming in early on. Sure. What the... Yeah, sure. Yeah, Bill, Bill, Star Mega. Yeah, why, why not add a couple? It's an early shot to be sure. But it seems like they're, yeah, confident in doing so. It looks like the badger duel is still really even. So it sounds like the call was made, like, I think by, yeah, just to be able to say, like, hey, like, I'm going backwards with Shock. I won't, I'm approaching the lava. If we have dodges, we can just go ahead and use them right now. And and they do it. And, and it works out, I think, okay. But like, you, you always have, you always, there's always some part of the mind that kind of wonders, was this, is this lack in, lap two Shock going to bite us in the ass? Will we want to have wish we held it on for later? We'll see what the answer to that question is. But Reds are coming up from Fred on the Casper. Don't quite land. But he has more to boot, more to maybe mess that kick up with it right right ahead of him. There's a blue shell coming out, though. Going to target one of England's. Does actually read the right target, and then it doesn't have to worry about Casper. As Casper's going to have to take a TC. Now they get to round those bananas. Bomb going to come back right, launched all the way wow. back. And he's going to kind an absolute few of USA. Macy, though, coming out now. Red shell going to be launched towards her, and it's going to knock down the AC as wow. well. So Fred just protecting the four, and it also gets a mega on top of it all. The, the items are in Fred's play ever in the favor, like it, it, ever in the favor of this English side. Incredible play coming out from his part. Now the mega in fourth should be able to secure at least a dodge at this point. There's not too many other places to guess when it's going to happen. How is going to come out? Yeah, forcing the mega. It's looking pretty solid for this England side. Revise only. Is revise oh, revise. but here comes the dodge. He's going to come past Revise. He's going to make it at least a top three coming for Team England. Maybe a top three five wow. at that. And wow, Team England fires back and puts all the pressure on USA South for race 12. Wow. Uh, the magnitude of that response is, is everyone heard it. Everyone heard it. And if there's been if there's been a time to say it's coming home, it's now. Because I would I wouldn't have said that before this race, but such a command, I wouldn't have expected it. But I guess I, I should have I should have just given how this war has been going, given the the constant swing of races. It, not just with a top three, but a top three five. Now you went from England. Look like. I think England did it. I think England did it. I think there's like very few situations where it, with one race left to go. I mean, yes, it's mathematically possible, but like what you have a decision to make here. You have such a decision to make here that is so hard to prove is consequential. So there's also some more news uh, against USA South that is unfortunate for uh, for the England supporters. win it. England we have yeah. a minus five against USA South. 20. Okay. Before that, it's 28 points of a deficit, I think. So minus five, minus 33. You, you can't bag. And honestly, you, and you, you should, you should be all running anyway, but now you need, oh man, now you need like a top. You, you four. literally need like almost, if you decide the bag, it's pretty much top four or bust. Yeah. No, I, even even with that's even actually, with top, yeah, it's not even possible. Ties it. Yeah, top four and nine would tie it, and that with you can't like you can't you just can't do that. But they're gonna go. Hold on, U.S. South go grumble. Okay, grumble volcano. Sure, yeah, they're gonna choose to go a longer course with as many shocked out. 
I'm I am I wonder if they have anything up their sleeve. Like I I'm a little bit confused at this track pick because in, in this situation we so often see we so often see like the team they're both they're bad they're bad they're okay they're they're bad I I think this is a misplay I think they have the math wrong or maybe we have the math wrong but like okay 28 but even uh, okay I guess they get Grumble Volcano but like the, they it's looking rough for them 28 points is really difficult to do. Look, theoretically, all Fred has to do is just target out back kick and make it impossible for him to reach top four, and then USA will, or and then England will have it in the back. Yeah. If they can single out one racer and completely just take them out of the race, it's over. They Literally. need a top four. They cannot get really anything else. So for that, the most part. That, that's basically it. Yeah. So and USA had to have three, four, five, but it's a TC and, and, and fourth Macy goes down. So England, they are they are feeling good. They are feeling incredible. Back is going to get redded. This lead is going to continue being built. The star doesn't quite land there, but it's still top two cruising ahead. And I think that's England all in top two. Do they both take walk hop? They do. England, they are one lap away, just holding these spots from winning the World Cup. They are so close, and they are almost about to bring it home. Fred goes into the Mega. It might look to Schlag, but... Does opt to not instead we see him now in uh go with the back cake now eighth place holding the star here you were saying bottom three and this mini map is so big it's so big i i, I there's there's no way there's just no i'm way. not convinced if they even dodge top four it's like or all four of them it's there's even a shot i think they're just too far ahead two people in the cut it looks like that's gonna be the nail in the coffin usa three of them go into cut no shot wow. by the looks of it though and that is going to be the final nail in the coffin as Team England are going to be taking home the World Cup for the first time ever. Wow. Oh my God. I am so, I am so happy. I'm so happy for England. I'm so happy in particular for Xander. He's wanted this moment for so, so long. Like I, I remember like he's been in the, both the Mario Kart 8, Mario Kart Wii roster this year. I saw him in England's semi quarterfinal match in the bracket for Mario Kart 8. We don't see him. And he's one of England's best players on that roster. I ask him about it. His response is, I just want to focus on Wii. And it makes sense. He's been trying so, so much at this. And, and he's and, finally gotten it with Jazz. And what better to end it off with a top four nine for Team England to just completely add to the to the tournament, the, the championship everything finally exercising those demons team england has finally done it well it's been it's been what a what a lovely hoot nanny of a time right um it's plus, a, a, the final result is, is is a plus 59 and look yeah maybe the trolling was a little bit discouraging i do i do think there could be some revision to the play that you do there because the thing is U.S. South did get, like, the track pick, right? And I think, like, there's a lot of... That's always a tough call for, like, what do you do? Do you pull the bagger out? Do you all run? Because um, there's a lot of situations where, like, it actually is advantageous to go for... Yeah, keeping the bagger back there because there's, there's like, five to ten race outcomes that, if gone our way, uh, like, that, that's a decent percentage of chances um, with bagging, more secure than letting the other, the other team get free shock. But just given like the the size of the lead, it's like hard. It's like it's it's a hard lead to come out with uh, with doing like. There's very few limited situations where you can come out with a win uh, when you're facing a 28 point deficit and having four run in one bag. So maybe something could have been changed there. But at that point, the, the more important race at this point was just race 11. So yeah, it again, hats off to both sides. And like, wow, what like a fairy tale run, right, by USA South? Like, does it does it really get any better than that? Like, being able to exercise the team to always consistently win it in bracket and semifinals when no one thought they would have, and take it to game three against England. Like, my God, like that's insane. Yep, and coming pretty soon, we're actually gonna have a quick little. Uh, we're gonna do an interview with uh, two of Team England to get them in here to 
see how it uh, how it goes. It looks like we have Jazz and Xander both coming in from Team England. Yeah. Wow, y'all! Shit. Congrats. <laughs> what, what what do you what do you say other than congratulations? Oh. You finally won the World Cup. Yeah. Uh, Listen, bro. I know, third man. time's a charm. Third time's a charm. <laughs> it okay. Is, okay. Are we are we like is it Max Max two? Oh, like can we get other people in here as well? Yeah, uh, yeah. Why not? I, I mean, not if we much. can. I, okay, if... can you give me a, a limit? Because <laughs> I'll invite the whole team. <laughs> the whole I mean, team and jump in, bro. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. okay. 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 <laughs> uh, just get Zach Fred then. Because if we if we literally let like your your server, it would literally just be like. The boys pouring champagne in the locker room after after winning the winning the series, the title, you know. So yeah, uh, but insane, yeah. insane win on your y'all's part. How, what? How does it feel like after uh, all this? Oh, <sighs> oh my. Okay, cool. Screw Are it. you no, serious? Screw it. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. I'm t I'm tagging the others. But, but 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 please, I would love to hear from using her first and, and, and jazz as well like it's been you've been at this world cup you've been playing it since 2015 how does it how yeah. does it feel how does it feel to have finally done it it's about time man <laughs> like, <laughs> it, 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 it feels good because obviously having played in a lot of them even in like the the early mk ones i invest a lot of time into those too um i think the amount of seconds in world cup that i think i've been a part of has been insane yeah. So to finally, finally win one uh, is obviously pretty, pretty great, right? Like, yeah. Yeah. Same. What? What oh, about? Days. What about you, Jazz? I'll be honest, bro. I can't lie. Yeah. Legit. <laughs> okay. Listen. 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 I think. Okay. 2015 shot count was kind of bad for me. Okay. I'll, I'll admit that. 2020 Mac kind of rolled in still. <laughs> it feels freaking good to finally win one. Oh my days. Third time to top. But yeah, I guess me and Zed have definitely been waiting. I, I do want to say, I, sorry, I do want to say, like, um, obviously, there, there's the people who, like, played. I think everyone played a great job. But um, even, like, like, I mean, everyone who was on the roster who played the whole tournament, right? Like, Luke, I think, is a, is a, someone I really want to uh, shout out. Because he didn't play today. But I think Luke is super good. I really like playing with him. The only reason why I feel like the lineup was what it was today is because uh, Fred and Bo have got, like, a little bromance going. And they, they have, like, a buff when they play together, right? Mm -hmm. So... They, they play like really well together, um, but Luke is still really, really good. It, it's difficult to like not like have him in lineup, honestly. Uh, yeah. So I, I don't know. I just feel like I, I need to like shout him out because he did so well, especially with his BNL. Like he puffed <laughs> off his <most> BNL. <laughs> well, shit. yeah, what what a huge moment for y'all too, and and for the rest of the crew. Welcome, welcome to the call. How how is it feeling for y'all? Thanks, man. I don't know. It's like. Because this is my first World Cup I played. I remember watching the 2021 and being like, oh, maybe I could uh, play in this, the next one. But it's just like, it's just, yeah, it's just crazy to just think about like, now you've won the World Championships. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Especially oh, in a game yeah, like yeah. this. It's like, it's like a piece of legacy that you just added now to like the history of this yeah. game. <laughs> <laughs> no, literally yeah. though. Like, literally, literally. Literally. Like, yeah. no one's been able to do it. Like, no one's been able to take it take it from USA. Y'all finally, y'all finally oh. did it. Like, that's insane. Revenge for 1776, you know. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. You got them back finally. Yeah, yeah, this you, was you the 1776 finally... rematch. Oh. Well, finally, y'all finally got us back for it, and you know what? Yeah, take it. It's it's so it's so deserved on 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 y'all's part. I what when like when USA what, what was in your mind like race eleven of match one? Because like obviously like at that, it was a very close war over the entire series of it. But you're at a point where it's like, oh shit, yeah, we're like this close to losing, <laughs> and to go from yeah, how, what did that feel like for y'all? I think what I'm is, I said, oh, go ahead, Fred. Yeah. Top three, eight, uh, top three, eight ties, and then we got top three, eight, nine. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be honest, <laughs> I, I think like, more. yeah, I think like, I am not sure any of us were really expecting to to win that. I think the call definitely died down like a little bit going into yeah. that race, but then like lap three, like after the shock happened and Bo redded uh, Casper, I think that there was like this tension or like anticipation, I guess. Like thinking, like, oh my god, like, are we actually gonna like win this? At least in my mind, it didn't yeah. feel like we won it. Like I'd almost like accepted, like, oh well, the shock happened, they dodged up, like, there's no way, and then we just like won. I was like, what? <laughs> like I was, I was really surprised. <laughs> 
Yeah, Absolutely. I don't know. Go, oh, sorry. Go, no, go ahead, go, go ahead, please. No, I was just going to say, like, going around that last turn on uh, on MC3, on that race, I just, I could hear, like, Fred just, like, jumping out of his chair because he was just so happy. Like, <laughs> like, I could hear, because I see all them sitting, and I'm just, I'm just hearing Fred, like, wait, wait, wait. And I'm just like, oh, no way, man. <laughs> wow. Oh, <laughs> wow. Yeah, Fred, I, I love, because Fred's first response was like, yeah, we just, like, yeah, we just like won, you know, we just like won, I guess, you know, we just got like top three eight and then we got us like won. But in reality, it was like, fuck y'all lads, let's fucking go. Yeah, yeah, that, I, I love that. I love that. Uh, match, obviously match two things take a turn, uh, t- take a turn, you know, but it's not even that much. I think at most y'all were down by 30. Like what, what was the mentality like? Cause I know fear came in and fears come in to be like a really incredible bagger for y'all. Yeah. He did really, really well. Yeah. I think. I, I would I would love to hear from Fierce perspective, like how, what was like what was like the perspective from you and against Sam? Like how did it feel to be bagging against him throughout match one and, and in your part in match two? Uh honestly, I think it was pretty close, but I got a majority or like a high count of uh bills in turn, which kind of just discouraged me. I felt yeah. like that was the only reason I was losing, which definitely probably wasn't the case, but I think I was clouded just by getting a bit tilted. Yeah, you know, and, and like playing at this level and like being at that stage is like so hard to hold on. But like you took like the first game away and like uh, in a situation where like y'all were absolutely back is against the wall. So I was really impressed with your like match one performance and to go into it and and have Jazz sub in, which I know you were waiting and kind of waiting at the sidelines for that for that moment. But to to have that come in and to lose after that match, did that affect your mindset at all? Uh, uh No, I mean, I- Oh, 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 we're talking about fear. Oh, no, my no, God. No, 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 my, no, my answer. No, my answer. Yeah, I thought we were still talking to Jazz, Jazz, this one's for you. <laughs> Go, uh, oh, it's for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's for an individual person. Listen, bro. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, no, <laughs> I, take I wasn't expecting this. I actually wasn't. Okay. What was the question again? Sorry, I wasn't listening. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> you're, just, you're just like, you're just in this high. Um, how, how did you feel right. when you subbed in, like, and then we ended up kind of losing, bro. essentially? Like, I'll be honest, bro. How did you feel about the match you lost? I wasn't too, like, Bro, how do I say this? I wasn't too fussed about it, I can't lie. Because, like, I had six races, and I already knew, in my opinion, we were probably the better team anyways. Shot count was probably in their favor. Obviously, Fair was getting really unlucky, and he also did a really good job the whole tournament when he stepped up, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, Shout-outs to him. And so I was like, okay, if I can come in, just do what I normally do. If I'm in my element, I think we can really, really take them to the whole, like, way, basically. Yeah. And apart from, obviously, Sam, he's probably the goat bagger, if anything. But I knew, like, with my experience and how much I played the freaking game, like, it. Mm-hmm. I think we could have, basically, yeah. As long as we all played good, it was pretty. It, it, not an easy win, but like, it, actually, now nah, that's rude. We can't be saying that shit. <laughs> we were confident. <laughs> we were confident. <laughs> we were confident. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We were confident. confident. Even, yeah. even that whole time, like that whole, even like, because match three was even still <laughs> mad close, and like. Yeah, I mean, I think the way that at least I feel about it, and the way that the others seem to feel about it. Is that like once we start to like chain a race or two, like we run away with it, right? I think I've kind of like mentioned this before, mm. but I feel like we are like very like snowbally when we start to get good races. Um, so the way that uh, I think we felt it was is okay. We just need to like hold, you know, tough it out through the races that aren't going well. Eventually, that like race that we'll get like top three will come, and we can like chain off of it. Mm. Um, it was a bit scary. I think like I, I at least I felt like match three. I think um. We were like up 37 and then they got like a really good race into like mm-hmm. another race that was like pretty good for them. And in my mind, I was like, oh, you know, there's like three races left. And we're kind of, it's really close. Yeah. Um, but what, I think it was, uh, we got like a good race before GV. And then from there, like, uh, uh, of course, like there's one race left, right? And we're up quite a bit. And, and obviously like, the comfort's like back at that point, right? They have to get like top four, nine or something. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah what, walk me through, I, and I would love from any, from anyone, like what, Walk me through like the last moments of the the last race because you go into that race knowing like okay, we have a lead, and like they're bagging and we could do this. Uh, what when does it become clear? Like what turn is it? Like oh, oh yeah, we did it. Oh, I mean, does anyone else? Well, I, mean, I feel like I feel like it was when like Jazz was like oh I have shock when we were top three at the end yeah. of GV, like, like going into like yeah. GV, just like we're top three break revise gets a tc just as like i have shock and we we're like i think everyone was just like nice and then zach pulled a stream in second i pulled a stream in third i was like this is calm yeah is- 
Uh, yeah, it might be a small too. sign that we win. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> I think like even like as early as uh, halfway through lap two, because I think Fred has been like slagging them a good amount, and the pack was like splitting a good bit. Um, I think I I like greened revise, uh, and we were like top two at that point. Uh, Zach has like a Sherman second. I slowed a second, heard a cycle for myself, and I pulled on two. So at that point, right, the pack split. We have shrooms in top two approaching rock. As long as shock doesn't happen, like we almost like seal it there, right? Like, mm. I, I, and I do want to say, like I, I talked to Zach about his like interest towards the game, like throughout this, um, like, throughout the the mid stages of the World Cup, because he he wasn't really too like into the game at one point. Mm. But when we were crossing that line. The last race <laughs> of of of, of uh, GV there, like the last lap. I've never heard him happier, honestly. <laughs> I've never heard Zach fucking that happy. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's so sick. That's so sick. I I I'm I'm struck. I I I think I I got. I don't have any personal questions, but I I would just love to hear if y'all have any other thoughts, like on on the match, how it went, like how it. How it still feels. I don't know if there's anything else that y'all y'all have on your mind. I'm just glad we finally won. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. Honestly, <laughs> honestly, yeah. It's almost yeah, it's nine been, years. It's been like <laughs> ten years for me. I'm trying to run not being Superman for this time. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. I thank you guys for playing. I'm so glad. I'm so glad y'all were able to come through, and I'm so glad y'all won. Congratulations on the win. Uh, and yeah, what what a performance in y'all's part. Y'all 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 be the world champions. Congrats. Hold on to it if you can. I've died. Thank oh, I you. Will. Thank you. Yeah, I thought <laughs> that was the rule. Thank you. <laughs> and so yeah, yeah congratulations to you all. You guys all played fantastic. Um, Fred, your items were nuts on BC on BC Wii. Um, <laughs> okay, okay, but... okay. Well, what about what about BC three? What about BC three? Uh, BC three. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, trust me. I I, made, no, I was counting. I was like, how many? Is he going for TC world record? <laughs> yeah, man. Like, don't, but it's, it's... Absolutely fant it's fantastic it's display. It's Both teams played absolutely outstanding. And just good show, boys. I'm, I'm, gl I'm glad that the uh, England was finally able to take it home for the first time. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, hats off, y'all. Uh, well, I think that I'll... I think... I think any any last notes before we before we kick you off. Sorry, I'll have to happen at some point. What's hey? I I have a good question. Actually, there. you know what? You oh. know what? We don't want we don't have to end it that way. Let's let, let's end it off with the World Cup champs and call. Congratulations to y'all! Thank you guys for watching the stream. It's been uh, it's, generous. It's, it, it's been it's been uh -huh. <laughs> I know right. I it's been <laughs> it's been so it's been so fun having y'all here. It's been so fun watching England and everyone else play. And like, thank you guys for joining. Uh and. Hats off to England. Congratulations. Y'all did it. Like, it is it, it, shit crazy. BY. <sighs> right. yeah, much appreciated. Uh, yes. Thank thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for uh, organizing and casting and everything to, like, literally everyone on staff and everyone who, who the cast it at some point. Yeah. That's and all. Uh, to everyone else watching at home, thank you all for joining us as True. this World Cup has now come to an end. And being me and Eric as your casters with B. Yosh, I was, who has been running the stream this entire time, who has done a absolutely outstanding job making yeah. the stream look as beautiful and as professional as possible. So major hats off to everyone who has put in countless hours of work <sighs> towards getting getting this tournament casted and that looking absolutely beautiful for everyone to see. Yeah. So, no, as for that. Yeah, I think yeah. that's all we have. What what a World Cup! We hope to see y'all for the next one, uh, whenever it is. But for now, it's it's off. Uh, it's all for us. Uh, thank you. Take it easy and and have a have an easy evening. See you later, guys. Have a good one.